Hey, everybody. Happy Monday, Charizard. Flying high, Helena. Fortune, how's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing today? Lord Jukebox, how you doing today? All the Charizard hype, 100%. How are you doing today, buddy? How was everybody's weekend? Ooh. I hope everyone has good coffee in hand, some good vibes in their soul. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing pretty good today, flying high. Slept in a little bit over the weekend, so got caught up on some rest. Um, spent a lot of time doing like calling family, talking to family, kind of stuff outside of streaming, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, finally home on summer break till August. Whoa, August 20th. Wow. So you hit summer break. Hell yeah. That is, what is that, like three months? Three months. Yeah. Three months. What you got planned for the summer, Charizard? Does anybody have any fun plans for the summer coming up? This weekend was amazing. Stream Bloodborne, dude. Cleric Beast, Gascoin, and Blood Starved Beast all without dying. Holy crap. Really? First try. Then woke up yesterday morning to the affiliate email. Hell, dude. Hell yeah, Lord Jukebox. Hell yeah, man. Can we get some hype in chat for Lord Jukebox hitting affiliate? Dude, that is super, super, super exciting, man. Huge congratulations, Lord Jukebox. Oh, dude, Mark. First coffee sip of the day, my friend. Cheers always to you, my friend. Cheers always. Let's get some, get some good shakes in there. Ooh, nothing quite like that first sip of coffee in the morning. It just hits different. Yo, 15 weeks off. Yeah, do you have any fun plans for the summer at all, Charizard? Summer plans, stay masked up, social distance, and play games. Same pandemic, different summer. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, we're gonna be spending a lot of time outside. We wanna go on hikes. We wanna go to like the beach. We wanna go, I don't know, just more outside, more adventures, you know? Hope all is good, dude, dude. I'm doing pretty solid today, Mark. How was your weekend, man? How are you doing? Yo, A1 Twins in the house. What is going on, dude? I work now, but getting a blood... Oh, blood draw. So no, <laughs> no coffee or food yet. Oh no, dude. I hope the blood draws... I mean, blood draws don't usually go very good, but dude, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're staying amazing. Kyle, David, two of the most legendary human beings on Twitch, maybe, possibly podcast guests too maybe <laughs> uh you bought that and didn't drink it until now so i always make them literally like right before streaming flying high so like 10 minutes leading up to when i go live i'm like in the kitchen like doing all the coffee making coffee for wifey and i sometimes if i'm in a rush i'll skip wifey it's just how it goes sometimes but if we're on time and doing pretty good then i'll make a second one for her <laughs> um life is good much love dude always 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 much love man dude need to go drive the big truck all the flexes a hundred percent always for you my man you stay safe you stay hydrated you stay well and you have a kick-ass day a hundred percent kyle love you to pieces man all good cheers my dude spent celebrating little dude's third birthday oh my god did you what'd you guys do do you like just probably hang out um any cool birthday gifts got the little dude third birthday you know i think my third birthday around then is probably like the earliest memory i think i have what is like the earliest memory all of you have i feel like the very earliest thing i can remember it's probably right around like three maybe four years old i'm drinking coffee black today nine hours of sleep in four days yeah i'm okay with black coffee fortune i will cheers to that you get some rest though you take care of yourself 100 percent Yo, Mr. White, dude, Mr. White, how you doing today, man? Happy Monday, legend. Good morning, everyone. How is the day going? We got Mr. White in chat. It's got to be. It's got to be 100% a good day. I'm feeling really good today, Mr. White. How's your day going, buddy? That's a good routine you have? Yeah, I have like uh, throwing scissors at my preschool teacher. <laughs> I, I usually have a pretty not strict, but there's like things like kind of a follow-up I do before streaming. It's pretty much like get up get everything set up take the pups out make the coffee make sure everything's working do some social media stuff a little bit beforehand and then jump into streaming so having having a routine that i'm pretty religious by helps a lot with that i'm very much a like a step-by-step -step person in my life yo vicar kicked my butt but i think i beat her in under 10 deaths last night and then did the witch found shadows and amygdala they're both seeming to be difficult but i'm ready for the hunt yo amygdala was like a 20 
30 try boss for me amygdala and abritus were my two most difficult bosses in bloodborne i feel like for me the big 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 bosses you know the really big ones the chaotic ones those ones i always struggle with but the ones that are more like more human size like Gascoigne. I usually like those ones a lot. So I'm excited for you, dude. Bloodborne is that good. You are in for such a treat. Yo, Mario Hot Wheels. Dude, my Hot Wheels, Mark. Dude, I, I haven't played with Hot Wheels in so long. Hot Wheels are so cool. Man, I had a huge collection of Hot Wheels and had like the things you'd all piece together and they'd go over the loop. Dude, Hot Wheel vibes. Hell yeah, man. I struggle with that with self. I slack off a lot. Yeah, it's definitely it takes a lot of time to try to get in the I don't know the routine I'd say yo rage of bush in the house dude how is my man the bush doing today how are you doing my friend I'm doing really good today rage how are you doing today man yo Michael plays games welcome in Michael happy Monday good morning how are you doing today buddy I'm doing good just woke up it should be a good day you, you know when you wake up and you're just like you know what today feels like it's gonna be a good day I'm feeling that myself as well, Mr. White. I'm excited to play some Dark Souls. I'm excited to chat with y'all. I'm excited to catch up a little bit. I'm, I'm feeling it in my soul. I'm like, I think today is, I think today is going to be a good day. You know, finally upgraded my old capture card. Ooh, hell yeah, Rage. What capture card did you end up getting? I actually also bought a capture card over the weekend. That's super exciting. Which one did you get, Rage? started dark souls remaster the other day i'm not very good it's a tough game it is a tough game honestly i feel like these games at least with demon souls and dark souls i really feel like the games start you like under leveled and once you kind of get like plus 10 plus 20 levels up then they i don't want to say they become that much easier but it helps it helps a lot um Good, just woke up and getting ready to clean the house. Ooh, that's pretty fun. I actually really like cleaning the house. Put some music on, Michael. Get some jams going. Maybe have a, you know, have a little, have a little uh, apple juice or something. <laughs> but I like cleaning the house. Dude, Matt, welcome in, buddy. Awesome podcast, man. Dude, thank you so much. Which one did you end up watching, Matt? Um, so I'd go with the Elgato HD 60S. Yeah, didn't feel like I need the S Plus, although I was tempted. Yeah, there's not really what is the what's the difference again between the s and the plus i think i actually don't have mine on my desk i think i have the just regular hd60 um i don't think happy and monday belong together zeph i mean i i don't mind mondays mondays means i get a stream with everybody so i'm excited for mondays <laughs> galaxy brain the blood starved beast with blood cocktails reading items yes 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 getting into the souls game lord jukebox like reading the item descriptions is everything i'm i'm really bad at that i will definitely admit <laughs> i need to read more of the item descriptions for sure i feel like i'm missing a lot oh only 1080 ones 4k hell yeah dude um listen to the one with fortune cookie yes that was such a good conversation fortune it was the podcast has definitely been something like i've i feel like I've struggled a little bit to kind of grasp and get the hold of but like it's been such a great learning experience and it's been it's so cool to talk to people IRL versus like chat like this totally different dynamic and it's so cool to just get like to learn more about you know the people you talk to every day so fortune podcast was absolutely incredible love you to pieces fortune yo Mizzy love you to pieces happy Monday Mizzy how you doing but good morning good morning to the absolute magnificence that is misunderstood 89 how you doing today mizzy Ooh, i also played neo dude neo looks intense neo looks really intense i want to play neo got effed up yeah i've heard neo's really hard i'm not good at games so i need my friends if i play a souls game yo have you played any of the souls games michael i listened to the podcast and want to say a few things uh to you only good things may idea oh you a hundred oh oh fortune cookie sorry my bad my bad i'm like if you if you need anything at all matt you can 100 percent always dm me if y'all ever need anything my dms are always open for everybody um my kids is bad so oh, no oh no oh the mom life right um i cannot watch myself talks it heaves me out do you ever watch like any of your vods you do like your clips though fortune i'm kind of the same way like listening to myself talk has been a very long time to get used to i feel like i'm decently used to it now but it's 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 not an easy thing at all to do 
Yo, what's it say in the house? What's it? How you doing today, my man? Played through three, eight times with a friend. Oh, Dark Souls 3. Yo, I haven't played Dark Souls 3, but that's probably the one I'm most excited to jump into, Mike. Everybody says it's like Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1, like had a baby and and then uh Dark Souls 3 was it. I've I have been watching Fortune and Dahlia play Dark Souls 3 though, so I'm pretty spoiled on it, but I'm really excited to jump into it. Have you played any of the others, Michael? Uh, yo, Rice in the house. How you doing today, Rice? Happy Monday, dude. That boy's always farting, pooping, or spitting. <laughs> sounds like sounds like my life. <laughs> oh man, just remember the F word is my favorite. I mean, what, do y'all have a favorite swear word? My mom used to, my mom always used to ask like, what is your, what's your favorite swear word? Y'all have a favorite swear word? Gonna run some apex before I got to get the kid from school lurking. Enjoy your stream, dude. Flying high. I appreciate you so much, man. Thank you so much for popping in, for giving good love and positivity and good vibes always. Flying high. Love you to pieces, my man. I'm good. Just getting ready for the work. I was going to play Star Wars Sealed Republic, but the, oh, the servers were down. Dude, what's it say? I've been, I, everybody said that Old Republic is such a good game. I want to play that sometime. Um, but what you got planned now that the servers are down? What's it? Yo, Sammy Brand Muffins in the house. How you doing today, Sammy Brand? Welcome in. Yukina, welcome in. Happy Monday, my friend. How you guys doing? Um, I started with Dark Souls 3, then DS2, and a little bit of remaster. What do you think of Dark Souls 2? We have a couple people here that have played Dark Souls 2 or are currently playing it. And I don't know. I always love hearing everybody's opinion on Dark Souls 2, Mike. The F word is, oh, the F word is food. <laughs> we family friendly here. I mean, it is 18 plus. <laughs> 18, it's pro this is probably like the most 18 plus channel where I don't really swear much at all. <laughs> I try not to swear too much. I try to keep it PG, you know, as much as I can. Food is the best, best F word ever. Yo, Matt, thank you so much for the lurk, dude. I appreciate it, man. Does putting your emotes, oh, in the title stream work like if I wanted to use WTF in title? I I don't actually don't know if I've ever tried using my emotes in the title. Um, the ones I've used are just like the regular like uh, iPhone emotes, but I've never tried. I guess if you typed out maybe the name of it, maybe it'd be fun to experiment with. Actually, you might be able to on mobile. You should, we should give it a shot, Mr. White. Let me know if you figure it out or maybe I can kind of play around with it. That sounds really interesting. Yo, Zach, dude, how you doing today, Zach? Zach love, Zach hype, Zach lulls. I'm pretty good. I'm excited to start a new class. We started or we played Battlefront 2 instead. Yo, Battlefront 2 is so, the new Battlefront 2, what's it? So I grew up playing like the old school Battlefront 2 and that was like one of my favorite games growing up. I loved Battlefront 2, but I'm guessing guessing probably the new one, right? Yo, Captain Mike, happy Monday. Welcome in, Captain. How you doing today? It's interesting, but I didn't get to play it through fully, but I'm not skilled, so I just have to luck on my side. <laughs> it's Souls games. There's definitely a, a sliver of luck that's in there as well. So, but yeah, it's the skills and souls games are hard have you played bloodborne at all michael i don't have a favorite swear word i just casually swear i mean that's probably the most honest way to swear right <laughs> busy morning mondays suck no why do mondays suck zach probably probably because going back to work i i don't mind mondays because i get a stream with you all so i actually look forward to mondays don't forget the venom trail oh is there a new vent is there a venom 2 Actually, I haven't even seen the first Venom flying high. Is it pretty good? The old one was a blast. The new one is better now. Is the new one where I think it might have been EA Battle, the first Battlefront? Is that the one where they kind of like you had to pay for a lot of stuff? What's it? Like it was very like pay to play kind of thing. Yo, Yukina, favorite swear word. Don't really have one, but it's always fun to use Shakespeare insults on people and watch the confused looks. <laughs> Time to get ready. All right. Sounds like a plan. What to say? Thank you so much for popping in, you legend. Love you to pieces, man. You have a kick ass day. What's it always? Gonna go shower. Ooh, get scrub a dub dub, Lord Jukebox. <laughs> is there a is there a carnage? Carnage. Carnage. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Flying high. Let there be. Oh, is that the name of it? Let there be carnage like venom. Let there be carnage. I'm excited to see it. 
So that is the only person that likes Mondays. I mean, if if I had to like go, if I had to go back to work and stuff on Mondays, Thursdays were my Mondays and I hated Thursdays. So I think I've played through Bloodborne. Speaking of Bloodborne, did you hear there's going to be a... Wait. Did you hear there's going to be a TV show for Bloodborne? What? What? It's Oh, it's a rumor. I'm like, wait, a TV show for Bloodborne? I'm like immediately intrigued. That would be interesting. It's called Venom. Let's hold on. Here we go. Venom. Let there be carnage. I don't know if that worked, but let there be carnage. <laughs> oh, it's a rumor not confused or not confirmed yet. Bloodborne TV show. I don't know. I feel like games like The Last of Us. Okay. Okay, Arnold. Oh, now it's, oh, is it still Echo? I'm sorry. It was that it was a still echo. My bad. Okay. Hopefully it should be fixed now. I feel like games like The Last of Us might be better for like a TV show, but I don't know. I don't know if Bloodborne or Demon's wasn't someone saying Demon Souls was gonna be a TV show. Um uh let's see. Sorry, I'm not super into comics and heroes, so I just assume everyone Oh no, you are totally good, flying high. You are totally good, my friend. Yo, dark phoenix in the house with the epic host how you doing today dark phoenix welcome in happy happy monday yo charlie happy monday welcome in how you doing today that was trippy oh i'm sorry yeah that was my my go xlr was kind of funky my bad <laughs> hopefully it's fixed now this is why we can't have nice things Zeph. i know right and i'd rather have a bloodborne remaster than a bloodborne tv show um Hold on, let me make sure I didn't miss none. I heard Demon Souls. Demon Souls as a TV show? Why? Saw it on Facebook, so it could be taken with... Yeah, everything on Facebook is like... It, if if Grandma reposts something on Facebook, take it with a grain of salt. It's always frustrating talking to family and stuff, and they're like, but I saw it on Facebook. And I'm like, do you like just believe everything? Like, you don't even like look into it at all? Or <laughs> Me and my family have had long conversations about Facebook. Yo, Bloodborne TV show would be like the next Game of Thrones. That would be really interesting. It would be cool. Actually, it'd be cool if they did a Bloodborne TV show in like before the game starts. Maybe like the TV show ends with like the hunter kind of walking into Yarnum. That would be dope. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty dope. Um, Demon Souls, a Demon Souls TV show. That'd be so interesting. Why? Why Demon Souls TV show? Um, isn't the last of us getting a TV? I, th I thought the last of us was, I feel like I've heard something about the last of us. Yo far. Welcome in. Hey, yo, it is Zeph. It is Zeph. How you doing today? Far. Welcome in uncharted movie and last of us TV. Yeah. Uncharted movie. I feel like I could get down with an uncharted movie. Those games that are super storytelling, like naughty dog games, you know, like last of us and, and uncharted, those would be really cool TV shows or movies. I don't know from software i feel like if they did like a prequel to bloodborne and like a tv show way that could be pretty cool but poor duck got arrested last last week dude a, a duck got arrested last week dude it sold quack far coming in with free dad jokes you get a cheers my friend i will take that i will take that <laughs> Yo, surprise, one, two, three, butt sex. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, and thank you so much for that follow. Dad jokes, dad jokes are always awesome. Dad jokes are always good. I, I got a soft spot in my heart for dad jokes. Yo, hangry, hangry, Heather in the house. How you doing today, he Heather? Welcome in. Happy Monday, my friend. Have they already done a Soulsborne TV show? It was called Game of Thrones. Oh, God. Every time I talk about Game of Thrones, I just get upset. I have feelings. I have very strong feelings about Game of Thrones. Sony said Demon Souls movie is what they were thinking. I just don't know about that. Honestly, Fortune, honestly, games made into movies are usually just meh. I'd rather just play the games. Yeah, I, I, I kind of would agree. I kind of would agree a little bit. Yo, Michael plays games. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Super happy to have you. Happy, happy Monday, everybody. See, I like the time when the bike fell yesterday. It was too tired. I have heard that one. Yeah, I have heard that one. That one's a good one. <laughs> Yo, Gerard in the house. Happy Monday, Gerard. How you doing today, buddy? I'm so sleepy, Zeph. Oh, so, so sleepy. Hangry Heather, I got delicious 
double shot es well actually it's quad shot because it's two doubles so quad shot espresso with your name on it my friend big cheers hope hopefully the coffee going into me can ship <laughs> sending it sending the vibes to you my friend i'm the consumption and you get the caffeine vibes right is that how it works I don't know if that's quite how it works, but still sending it regardless. <laughs> that might go out the door right now. Good. Woke up late. So I called. Oh, called out sick. Oh, Gerard. And now applying for other jobs. Is that a, that sounds that could be exciting, though. That could be really exciting. What kind of job are you looking for at all, Gerard? Um, I'd be afraid for the calendar. <laughs> I'm afraid for the calendar. It's days are numbered. I have heard that one as well. <gasps> I don't think it could handle me. I mean, I, I'm here for all the dad jokes. If y'all got dad jokes, throw them out. I'm always down for dad jokes. Zeph stuck, snuck in a bit of vodka in there as well. Ooh, vodka and ca vodka and caffeine are just no nos for me. Like sometimes we'll go to the grocery store and see people buying like Red Bull and vodka, and I'm just like, why, why, why? What kind of car does an egg drive? A Yolks wagon? I have not heard that one though. I like that one. A Yolks wagon. I like it. I stayed up too late playing RE8 and woke up for 8 a.m. second dose shot now at work snoozing. Uh, how's your day been, Zeph? Wait, are you at work right now? Right after you got the second dose shot? It's the second one that like whoops your butt though, right? I'm doing I'm doing really good today myself, Heather. Um, all these all the espresso. Actually. I, I I might have done a third. Well, I, I don't know. I feel like I zone out when I make coffee. So a lot of the times I'll like pour it in and I'm like, I think that looks like a quad shot. Maybe, maybe I've accidentally poured in a six shot and just not realized it. I zone out while I'm like making coffee. It's, it's so automatic. I don't even realize it. <laughs> um, I want a remote program manager position so I can move around and keep the same job. Dude, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, man. Um, do you have management experience right now, Gerard? Strat the day. <laughs> Why didn't the skeleton climb the mountain? It didn't have the guts. Yes, yes. All the dad jokes. I will take all the dad jokes. Um, the site is bro. Oh, <laughs> Dark Phoenix. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Oh my goodness, two month sub hype. Thank you so much, Dark Phoenix. I seriously appreciate you, legend. You a badass. Feel like people don't feel anything until 12 hours after their shots yeah so who here has gotten the second shots has has most people here gotten the second shots probably won't feel anything until later this evening my boss said if i feel like garbage at any point i can definitely go home that's nice that sounds like a nice boss i like bosses like that i like bosses like that they're like if you're just not feeling well you can go home man I'm, I'm not I'm not even gonna go there I'm not even gonna go there I was about to say something about my last boss but I'm not even gonna go there my dad wants me to get a job but anxiety attacks prevent me from even putting in applications it's okay though I'm happy being a housewife there's a lot of like really cool work from home jobs I feel like Yukina um or even like I've been looking into Fiverr so if you have like any kind of like music skills or like know a second language or or Fiverr looks like a really cool spot for kind of getting some additional income. Going to head out so I can stream, but have a good day. Yo, Michael plays games. Thank you so much for popping in, my friend. It was an honor talking to you. Hope you have a kick ass rest of your day, Mike. Much, much love. Want to make the switch from engineering to management. Engineering, dude. Do you do like, um, like coding is like software engineering, Gerard? Yo, Sammy brand muffins. It was about 10 hours later. I started getting sinus issues and headaches from the second shot. Not even the first shot yet. My boss is awesome, Zeph. She comes to my streams and hangs out in chat. Yes, yes, you've mentioned that. Yeah, she's not a normal boss. She's a she's a young, cool boss. Hip with the crowd, right? That's really, really, really cool. Honestly, uh, having a good boss, having a having somebody that like wants to understand you and just like want try can like try to stand in your shoes and be in your position. Those are so far and few. So if you have if you like legitimately have a good boss in your life, like let them know that they're a good boss and hold on to them i don't think there's a time period about how soon or how much later you feel the side effects i also felt shitty about five hours after oh from the second dose tried i work from home one too was having panic attacks every other day oh i'm really sorry to hear that yukina you got this my friend just take it easy take it one step at a time a little a little each day will get you there right right sending you big love yukina 
definitely 100 percent. you got this if you if you want to believe you got it you got it i'm a big believer in that who needs a second shot <laughs> no worries man not even get my first shot yet they reached my age group now so i should be getting one soon nice 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 yeah i know it's like different like per country right i think in the u.s it's pretty much like i think it's 16 and older is pretty much wide open for everybody but i think in other countries are kind of going from like oldest down right electrical engineering but i'm better delegating work for others to do hell yeah gerard dude electric electrical engineering is super super cool i kind of have been thinking slightly possibly about like maybe going back to school for like software engineering or something or like coding or something but dude that is super dope gerard yo mother claw welcome in happy monday mother claw how you doing today she's super dope and is like a best friend of mine everybody's bodies are different i hope and i don't get any side effects yeah yeah, it's definitely like just 100% taking it one step at a time and just knowing your body. And if you're not feeling good, just, you know, hydrate, lay down, relax. Say, like, oh, 16 plus in the US. That's what my therapist says. I'll be getting my second shot on the 20th. Huge congratulations, Yukina. That's super exciting. Here and in Brazil is getting old down. Yeah, going from like the oldest down, right? They prioritize the elderly first here in the UK. I think they started doing that here in the US to start, and then they just kind of like wide opened it up. So, yo, good. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing really good today, Mother Claw. Just vibing out with some awesome friends. We're going to be jumping into Dark Souls here any minute and uh, kicking some boss booty, hopefully. I'm trying to remember where we're at. I know we're in Demon Ruins. I can't remember the last boss we fought. I think it was, I think it was the fire, the fire one, right? One of the fire oh i think it was the one with a very interesting name there's some very interesting named bosses in dark souls <laughs> ceaseless discharge is that the one i'm thinking interesting yeah i got the second one this saturday i'm hoping i don't get any side effects again did you have side effects from the first one mother claw to be real everything here in brazil is going to crap oh yeah was ceaseless discharge what an interesting name what an interesting name for a boss i didn't feel like it was that bad though mr white i'm trying to think of like the last like super difficult boss i mean it was definitely ornstein and smile those, those two were just obnoxiously difficult hmm ornstein and smile ornstein and smile ornstein and mother and smile <laughs> that was probably the toughest boss battle i've ever fought in a video game honestly you know which one is actually like really tough you know what's a boss battle that is like actually not even like in a very difficult game at least the normal mode isn't that difficult but it's like insanely hard is valkyrie queen in god of war man eater was harder what dude man eater man eater was insane man eater was like <laughs> man eater was tough for all the wrong reasons i'll say Gar yo the gargoyles yeah the gargoyles were tough because because with the gargoyles you want to get that first one down as soon as possible right no i was all good with the first one but i've heard people said they felt like crap after the second one yeah the second one seems to be the one that's whooping booties whooping booties <laughs> that's just my response for everything right whooping booties um haven't heard anyone getting side effects both times from the shot doses you either get one or the other first time or second time it just happened 25 dead almost double injured criminals nowadays are in the high here um yeah i feel like feel you mother Clyde didn't feel anything first shot just sore arm but now i'm worried for a second one there's a boss you haven't faced yet and he was a pain in the ass mm, i i know so at this point dark phoenix i do i pretty much know all the names for the bosses which one do you think is the i don't know I won't spoil nothing for myself. Never mind. <laughs> I did ONS second try. What, dude? How, Mr. White? How? A rage for him. Man yeah, Man Eater was just like tough for all the wrong reasons, I feel like. I was just tired after the first one with sore arm for a few days. Interesting. Does it feel like, is it like sore in the way as though like somebody like punched your arm? So it has like that bruise kind of feel. So I'm worried about my dad and stepmom are both fine after uh with both so I'm hoping I'll be the same yeah I've heard some people like just get both of them and they like don't feel nothing and then other people get like a feeling sick from each one so 
you just play safe till the second one spawns and then go all in at the first one yes I, I when I did the gargoyles I was trying as hard as possible to get the first one down as soon as possible and then just kind of being safe for the second one so feels like it just worked out oh feels like it just worked out sore if we weren't fighting on a tight rope man either wouldn't be right right died a whole my god zach a hundred plus times on o and s then on the next day second tried them dude dude zach that's awesome i really think that's a thing honestly in souls games and and everybody that's played souls games chime in with your opinions on this if you've played any of the Soulsborne games i really feel like if you leave a boss one day and you come back the next day to do them I don't know if it's just you just got the energy in you again or you have the patience but like it's so easy to it feels more possible to first or second try a boss like the next day after you sleep on it you know yo speaking of sleeping sleepy bear in the house how you doing today buddy welcome in man oh it's a mix of getting punched and bruised and overworked gotcha gotcha kind of like the worst of all worlds I didn't even have like a sore arm with the first. I was expecting it to be like the flu jab as that gave me a sore arm. It made me wonder if they actually gave me it. You're like, are you sure you put it in me? Are you sure? Oh my God. I'm going to use your happy emote in my title today. Unless you say, oh dude, the Zach party is all hype. The Zach party is like one of my, honestly, the Zach party is like one of my most used emotes. I pretty much use my favorite is using the Zach party and the Dahlia party because they look like so similar. Those two are like my favorite to use together. That was me on Final Fantasy VII Remake on hard. I tried Sephia on six attempts, came back the next day and being right, right. You just beat him first try. And you're like, what, what? <gasps> Doing good work. Wait, who's, wait, whose birthday is it today? Whose birthday is it today, Zach? After some time of failing, your skills become trash. Dude, Captain Mike, I feel that so damn much, man. I feel that so much. Like, yo, wait, 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 is it? Mr. White, is it your birthday, man? Is it your birthday, dude? What? Mr. White? Oh, hell to the yeah. Hell to the yeah. Everybody. Everybody. Zach, I'm going to refund you those ukulele jam points because it is customary that we play happy birthday. A hundred percent, my friend. Yo, everybody. Mr. White is such a huge integral part of this community is literally one of the bestest friends absolute facts a million percent so yes if we could get some big happy birthday love for the legendary mr white it would mean a lot to me it would mean a lot to all of us let's throw hype in chat and some happy birthday love for this legend all right <laughs> Mr. White, yes, all, all the massive love to you, legend. Dude, hell yeah, man. What do you got planned for your birthday, Mr. White? What you doing today? What you doing? Doing anything super exciting today, man? Happy 28th birthday, man. You only turn 28 once. You do. So, uh, I mean, I guess you turn every age once, but you know what I mean. 28 years old. Actually, wait. Were you born? I think you were born in 93 because I think I'm turning I think I'm turning 28 this year. 93 2020 would be 20. Yeah, so I'm turning dude. We're turning we're 28 this year. Mr. White, Mr. White just came back from changing poopy diaper to hear that there's a birthday. Yes, there's always mad love for people's birthday. Whenever it's your birthday, everybody, you got to mention it. I will 100% 
jam some birthday love on the ukulele for you. Oh, 92 on Mother's Day. Wait. Wait, wouldn't you be 29 then? Am I crazy? Everybody, help me out here. 92. It's 28. 92 plus 28 would be 2020, right? So wouldn't 20... is it, We are in 21, right? Yeah, 20. wouldn't that be 29? Is my math wait i'm 29 i'm like i'm like wait a minute is is my math not working am i missing something <laughs> I'm like am i turning 29 this year see that's the thing is like once you kind of like wh what's the point where you just kind of stop forgetting how or stop remembering how old you are i feel like for me i don't know after 21 i just kind of stopped caring about how old i was <laughs> yo smiles happy monday welcome in smiles how you doing today i was born on a tuesday but every so often my birthday falls on father's day hell yeah hell yeah yo dj anime in the house how you doing today dj happy monday stop counting mine after 21 yeah because like after 21 i mean i mean after 30 yeah because like after 21 what do you look forward to i mean 30 40 50 60 like the decade years but my mom and i are 22 years apart can't forget how old i am i am 99 and i'm 22 so i guess it's 29 <laughs> i was born in 89 you can work it out will that be 34 34 i stopped caring after that after 30 after 30 like sleepy days yeah if you wake up with any aches and pains in the morning you're old Yes, I am a huge believer that you are only as old as you feel. A thousand percent. Oh, 32. Oh, man. Is, is, is my brain that bad at math today? 32. It's just only a number. <laughs> the math. I can't math today. I cannot math at all. Yes, yeah, so that'd be 30. Wow. I, I, I can't math today. That, that's my cue, everybody. That's my cue. Uh no way i'm 29 oh my god mr white you're gonna be 30 next year dude i can't math ever <laughs> math is hard english is hard words are hard using brain power is hard 32 i was born in 88 and i'll be 33 next month oh my goodness oh my goodness ate a whole stick of fresh bread yo i'm a sucker for bread bread is carbs car why are carbs so good everybody why are carbs so damn good old crew in the house not even um i yeah i'm a big believer like you know you are only as old as you feel you know there's been some people i've met who are in their 60s who feel younger than some 20 year olds so all that uh all them booze partying right makes you feel older than you than you really are all right I may have ate some veggies today. Ooh, Mr. White feeling real good today. Eating some Washingtonian veggies. I, I, I've I never been like super crazy on eating the veggies. I feel like every time I eat them, there's only one of two things that happen. I either, I either like don't feel the effects at all or I'm transported to another dimension and time and space and I have no, I, I'm just like completely obliv oblivionized. All right, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, this is the the Queet K log, Quay log, K log, like the cereal. What were we doing? Well, I think we got to go to Demon Ruins, right? Demon Ruins. I think we get to Demon Ruins through here. I'm trying to remember where we were. I think last time we played was on Thursday, so we were in Demon Ruins. Yeah. Okay. We'll head back there. Um, ooh, how's baby doing today? Babies are so cute. Babies are adorable. You definitely don't look your age, DJ. I know what your methods are. <laughs> yes, how do you keep young? I'm 32 and thought you were my age at the oldest. He's doing well, bright eyed and bushy tailed this morning. Oh, babies are so cute. Oh my goodness. Except when I talk to my mom, I talked to my mom for Mother's Day or for her birthday a few days ago. And oh, every time I talk to her, she's always like, when you having babies, when you having babies, when you having babies. It's such a awkward conversation, right? I'm just like, I don't know, baby babies. Yeah. Only as old as you feel. I feel 39. 
Sleepy, you look... You look like 22 and full of youth and power, my friend. Have y'all been getting the, like... For anybody that doesn't have babies out there, have y'all been getting any of the when you having babies convo? What do you say to that? Just... I just keep saying, like, not now, not now, not now. Yeah, I say never. I tell them straight up. Dude, I, I have maybe said that as well. Izzy and I are trying. Yo, that is super exciting, Sleepy. Huge congrats, dude. Are you any any preference on, like, boy, girl, twins? Fortune's pain in my ass. Fortune cookie is the bestest in the world it's just facts right fortune oh yeah thank god <laughs> oh wait is there another bonfire we are going the right way right i didn't miss anything yes yeah because we went up to quay logs is that even kellogg's domain to save and then okay i think we are going the right way dude i've got four kids people come to me for the how do you deal with baby stock oh how do you deal with baby stock sammy I don't have a problem with this kind of convo. My answer is you always got 12 grandchildren. You don't need more. Yeah, that's what I told my mom. I'm like, it's probably not going to be me giving you the grandkids. Just being honest. Oh, watch the podcast over the weekend. Ooh, which one did you watch, DJ? Um, She wants twins, so she only has to go through childbirth once. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Wifey was saying, oh, there's a shiny. Wifey was saying that like twins. Is it true that twins run in families? Like, if you have siblings that have twins, you're, like, more likely to have twins. Is that a thing? Oh, the new one with Fortune Cookie? Hell yeah. That was such a good conversation, Fortune. Um, and again, y'all, if you did not know, I do have um, my podcast on YouTube as well. We just had Fortune Cookie on for the most recent one, but do have a couple others lined up as well. Possibly, uh... Well, I don't think she's in chat yet, but do have some other guests coming up soon. Got quite the list. It's it's been it's been so much fun. Oh, falling like wow, we did not die. That's amazing. Podcasting and like talking to people IRL is is so different than talking like this. I know. Shh, Zach. Shh, our secret. But I'd want like three or four. Um. That is definitely a thing. Three or four kids. I couldn't imagine. Like, I feel like anything more than zero would be a lot of kids. <laughs> oh, they couldn't keep it a secret. Well it's, all, well, it's actually posted on Patreon as well. So, so the latest one is also on Patreon. So, um, I saw Ryman and part of fortune. I'm so behind. Yeah. So we've had, let's see if I can remember all in order. We've had Ryman, Zach, Ice Beams King, lolly oh man oh my goodness crises fortune and eighth eighth is coming this saturn well it's actually available already on uh on patreon so a1 twins a1 twins a1 twins a1 twins was the latest guest on the podcast so it was it, they were the first time i had more than one guest on at the same time and it was awesome Elon is oh my god dude did you see the Elon Wario did you guys see the Elon Wario cos cosplay Wario thing on SNL over the weekend um if I stream more it'd be awesome to have a chat and need to get back into it yo if you ever have any questions about streaming or anything at all Dark Phoenix I'm always a hundred percent here for you my friend if you all have ever have any questions on anything you know uh, always you can message me on discord or twitter or 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 twitch and i'll absolutely be there for you my friends you said it i didn't have to <laughs> that was good but my doge isn't oh right i heard like dogecoin is like plummeting or something <gasps> i was watching angus stream earlier and he was in a tifa wait is this tifa cosplay day is this the day where august is in his tifa cosplay oh hi hello hi hello hello hi friend hi fur this is Layla. Hi, Layla. You cute? Are you cute? She's like, nobody has said anything to me yet. <coughs> what? <coughs> what even? Well, that was Layla. 
<laughs> Yo, Twix in the house. How you doing today, Twix? Welcome in. Oh, bed of chaos. Uh, oh, are we at bed of chaos already? Is oh no, this is like the worst boss in the game, right? Everybody says bed of chaos is terrible. How you doing today, Jiggly? Welcome in. I mean, I'm still up, but we are doing going to the moon. Gotta have faith. Gotta have faith. Hell yeah. I haven't invested in any Dogecoin yet. I'm behind, Zach. I'm sorry. If Dogecoin hits a million dollars, don't forget the little people, Zach. Actually, out of curiosity here, how many people do have Dogecoin? Does anybody else have Dogecoin? All right, let's see what's behind the white light, too. You don't as well, Mr. White. Is this a boss? Did we just walk into a boss? Nope, never will. I do have some Bitcoin, but that's about it. Oh, oh, another boss can confirm with thousands of Dark Souls fudge bet of chaos. <laughs> yeah, bet of chaos. I've heard a lot of people do not like bet of chaos. I've watched Fortune fight bet of chaos and it looks like BS. But this is, I don't know if I've seen this one. Which one is this? It's got legs and a tail centipede demon okay um lava is hot so we should probably not stand on lava we should also probably not get hit okay what's the plan what's the plan here okay what's the plan um oh okay maybe should we go over here more let's try running away when in doubt Run away and cower. Ooh, there's a shiny. Maybe it's like a secret weapon. Green Titanite Shard. That is definitely not a secret weapon. Um, okay. Is he coming after me? I'm guessing he like launches his tentacles and we just like dodge them and then attack. That's kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, kind of like that, except actually hitting him. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on, Zeph. What are you doing, dude? Come on. Okay. Maybe we don't need to dodge. It's a cool, it's a cool boss though. Man, we are not connecting on anything. We are like Shaq at the free throw line right here. All right. We're just going to do wide swings. There we go. There we go. Oh, dude, he's stepping on us. Hmm. Speaking of getting stepped on, has anybody played uh, Resident Evil Village over the weekend? I know. <laughs> I don't know why getting stepped on reminded me of that, but I'm sure y'all could guess why. Okay. Oh, we chopped his tail off. How many of these bosses have tails in this game? Wow. Oh, hot. Hot or not. Come on, let's see. Dude, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh oh we're probably dead this is usually an instant death attack holy crap we're still alive i'm i'm beyond amazed oh heal 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 oh dude 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 oh my god heal heal uh oh we're in trouble come on come on zeph hit something mm. hit something more than air come on Oh, dude, dude, you almost got him. Come on, Zeph. Come on, dude. Dude, first try this. What even? Come on. Wow. <laughs> first try, baby. What? First try. That wasn't, that wasn't even a tough boss. That was, that was, that was easy. That was, that was decent. <laughs> GG's. I will take all the GG's. And we got a new ring. Ooh. Yo, Sean Beanland, welcome in. How you doing today, buddy? Oh my God. Didn't tell you you could chop. I didn't know you could chop. I didn't know you could chop the tail off too. Interesting. It, it seemed like when we chopped the tail off, sometimes you get like a weapon out of it. It looked like it turned into like another enemy though. So I don't know if chopping the tail off was a good idea. Oh, Koku, always thank you, my friend, for keeping my back straight. That boss in the Frodo of Dark Souls that just exists to hand out that ring. Is the Frodo of Dark Souls that just exists to hand out that ring? 
fire truck doing good happy monday looks like a start and victoriously right what a good what a good start first boss of the day first tried i will take it hell yeah um miyazaki should bring back tail chop i i don't think tail chop was a thing in bloodborne was it you can chop the tail off and it kills kill it to get the ring mid fight in case oh you don't kill it first try gotcha gotcha let's take a look at the ring what does the ring do or it was this one right <gasps> reduces lava damage reduces lava damage that could be very handy in here there's a lot of lava how much does it reduce it by because it would like eat our health before how much does it reduce it by oh that is like way better i can walk on lava we're doing hot today agreed tail chop was great yeah because if you chop the tail on the um the gargoyles i'm gonna go save real quick and maybe maybe do a level up if you chop the tail on the gargoyles to get the halberd right the halberd or the great axe it's like i said the other day you need lava res oh lava resistance this is a good item to have i like it's like a zelda thing dude we need breath of the wild 2 stuff giggly when are we getting some breath of the wild 2 stuff barefoot charcoal walk right there seems rather hot if you ask me twix i agree i don't think i don't think tail chop was a thing at all in bloodborne so that'd be cool to see in like elden elden ring if that ever 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 comes out all right let's see what should we level up we should probably do okay here's my question everybody question for everyone should we do dexterity because if we do dexterity, that also levels up our strength, right? It's essentially like strength one and strength two. So should we do dexterity or should we do more strength? It feels like if we do dexterity, we get more of a boost. Gary Mike has decided to knock off my pop figures. Oh no, DJ! DS3 didn't have the chop. Maybe DS2 didn't have them. Fortune, can you confirm that? Does DS2 or DS3 have like the tail chop for the enemies? I would go till 40 strength. Dex is great. I prefer Dex builds above all. Helps you wield better weapons as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Because, like, it looks like they increase the same stats, really. Because if we go plus one more strength, it's going from 417 to 418. But if we go Dex, it goes 417 to uh, best number right there. <laughs> Big boy strength DS1. Stat scale really good till 40. And then, oh, and then drop off. I don't know. I might go dexterity. But 40 is kind of like the, the ceiling where you, where you kind of want to stop at. I might go dex. I mean, that's that seems like some good some good numbers. Good money. Some good numbers. Why not? And then what else can we do for any of our weapons? Zwei is at plus 10 already. Anything else we could? Anything else we could? I guess we could repair some of this real quick. Does your weapon have a dex scaling? I don't think it does. I'm using the Zwei Hander. The Zwei Hander right here. I mean, kind of. It has like a D for dex and a C for strength. It's it's plus 10. This thing is like a powerhouse. This thing like squashes enemies. If you plan on changing weapons to dex, then yeah. Plus 15 Zwei can be obtained at New Londo. Um, I haven't been to New Londo yet, Jiggly. So I'm not too sure on new Londo area. It's fun if you're still in your first DS after a month of playing almost every day that you're still, oh, in the first Dark Souls. Yeah, I talk a lot. So we end up going for a while on some of these games. But I, a lot of people have said we're probably over the halfway mark on DS1. So maybe some DS2 is right around the corner. You haven't done the Four Kings, have you? I, I don't think I've done the Four Kings doesn't sound i don't think i've done the four kings yo sketchy benito in the house hope you're doing well just wanted to say hi before i lurk yo thank you so much for the lurk sketchy benito i hope you are having a magnificent monday my friend always super exciting to see you sketchy benito you're on your way to your second or third lord soul yeah we did lord nito i think that's the only one i've done so far has been nito lord slayer zeph that'd be a badass twitch name right you should be a yoga audiobook. A yoga audiobook. <gasps> oh! Is that Sunny D, bro? Why? Is this Sunny D, bro?
Yo, not Fox subbing in with two month prime sub love. Oh my goodness. Welcome in, Fox. Thank you so much for the sub, my friend. How are you doing today? Happy Monday. Basically, main game in terms of storyline only has like two or three bosses left. Oh, and a lot of optional boys. Yes. Oh, the hype. Oh, the hype, my friends. Yeah, Sunny Bro. After all this. Sunny Bro, Sunny Bro. I have feelings about Sunny Bro. Sunny Bo, Sunny Bro. <laughs> Yo, I have feelings about P Mel, though. P Mel in the house. How you doing today, my man? Happy Monday, dude. Welcome in, P Mel. Doing good, settling in for the work week. Nice, nice, nice. Well, not Fox, P Mel, all the legends. Big cheers for the work week ahead. You all got this. You all are going to crush this week. I can feel it. Just like we crushed the centipede demon on the first try there. Dude, Killer Draco, man. Welcome in, Killer. How you doing? You have the feelings about Sunny Bro? Just make sure you don't whack him with your Zwei Hunter again. It was a mistake. It was so a mistake. These controllers are ridiculously sensitive, I swear. Um, I feel like we should probably kindle this bonfire since we're in a new area, right? Right? Probably a good idea. Well, maybe. Never mind. I don't think we have any humanity, so maybe not let's put some of these souls away though I, I feel like we don't need to have these super expensive souls on us you know for a closed caption you said sunny book sunny bowl sunday oh the closed captions are pretty funny it's always great to see you zephyr i hope you are doing fantastic yo pmail i hope you are doing fantastic my friend thank you so much for popping in bringing love all the time you are a legend man seriously always appreciate you pmail Everybody, if you do not know who PML93 is, absolutely one of the most positive, uplifting, good, 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 like just good love, good love and good hype streamers on Twitch, a thousand percent. Um, and we got to get you a big shout out, a hundred percent as well, PML. Always appreciate you. Always appreciate the love you give. Like, I like positive people in my life, and you are a million percent one of them. Oh, beats it to a Zach. <laughs> Oh, Sag. No. No, Sag. It's okay. I love you to pieces, Zach. I hope work is going good for you, man. Is it pretty busy? Pretty slow? What's the work day for everybody looking like? Lost? Okay, let's take a look at where we are. Lost Isoleth? Ooh, are those like... Ooh, I'm so confused. What is this? Are we like in a volcano with trees? And are those like dragons? Dinosaurs? T-Rexes? Are those like T-boned T-Rexes? Um, King didn't have to really think about the love. Oh, I'm just being honest, P-Mel. Uh -huh. Like it's, it's, I like good friends and I like positive people. And you have both of those in spades. You are an absolute legend, my friend. They have like no aggro range. It's been in waves, weird, but going. What does the lava death animation look like? I I don't want to find out. <laughs> they, yeah, they look like lava dinosaurs. They're like, but I don't know. Maybe they're like trees, tree dinosaurs or bones. I don't know. This is a very interesting place. Lost Isoleth. The are those like temples? This whole area looks really cool. It's like we're inside a volcano. If that's a temple, you know what that looks like? It looks like some of those, um, are they like Indian temples or like Malaysian temples? Like some of those like Eastern Asia temples, right? I'm getting a lot of those like architecture vibes. It's pretty cool. This is a cool place. Looks pretty hot, but it looks pretty cool at the same time. I would rather do OG console blight town with two frames per second than tomb of Yo, I hated the Tomb of Giants. The Tomb of Giants, once you get the skull light, that makes it a little bit better, but but Tomb of Giants was just a bad time. I don't know. Blight Town is a bad time too. Blight Town is ridiculous. You have the Xanthus crown. I don't think so. That doesn't sound familiar. Um Let's see. I love it so much. Oh, Persona 5. Yes, DJ's been telling me I got to try Persona 5. How are you liking Persona 5 so much, P-Mel? Love it so much. The only thing that's kind of keeping me on like diving headfirst into Persona is its length. It's a big game, right? It's like a really big game. Can we jump up here at all? Nope, that looks not jumpable. This is like kind of, 
I don't want to say obnoxious sounding, but it's a little thuddy. I don't know. I don't think running through lava would make that sound. Although I don't in in his defense, I don't think really running through lava would make any sound aside from screaming in pain. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, treasure. Is this a mimic? No, it's curved. Okay. To avoid spoilers, I gotta say I love it. It is a long game, yes, and recently did a boss that was insanely infuriating. Yo, um, Pimel, have you played any of the Souls games by any chance? I don't know if I've asked you that. The big mushroom hat? Um, I don't think so, honestly. Mushroom hat, mushroom hat. This has probably been my new favorite set, though. The gold hemmed black hood. I like that set a lot. Painted guardian, fang boar. I don't know. I don't see any mushroom hat. Nope, I don't think we have it. I don't think we have it. 240p pizza cheese, my favorite area. <laughs> I will say, though, I feel like playing this game on a PS5. I don't know if it's maybe the PS5 power, but like I'm not really noticing any dropped frames. It feels like, do you all think it's holding up pretty good? Like we haven't really had any crazy drop frames area. Was it the fifth palace boss? But oh, a fifth palace boss. We visited Painted World. I have visited Painted World. That was a cool area. That was uh, Priscilla. She was the boss, right? She was cool. Whoa! I just got hit by. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna slam on me. Oh my god, dude, he just jumped on me. What the hell? Wait! I thought you said I thought you said there was no aggro rage here. That was very aggro. Aggro. Aight. No crown then. Yeah, I don't think I have the crown. We just got dino bootied, Mr. White. We just got dino bootied right there. And it wasn't even enjoyable. <laughs> oh, you're going to be playing Persona 5 Strikers? Yo, I think I've seen Alina uh, play a bit of... I think it has been Strikers. No, maybe it's Doro. I think I've seen Doro play Strikers. Come on and slam. Come right into the jam. Yes. Yes. Yo, pajama princess Daisy in the house. Welcome in, Daisy. Happy Monday, you legend. How you doing today, Daisy? Hope you are having a magnificent, amazing sauce Monday. It's the toughest boss in Royal. The rest of the bosses are surprisingly easier. Yo, uh, Dark Phoenix, have you played um, The Witcher 3? That's the other like really big game I want to play. Um, but I haven't jumped into it yet. Well, you did mention earlier getting stepped on Lord Jukebox. Stepped on by the, the Resident Evil Village. What was her name? Lord Demetrius? Yo, she looks intense. She looks tall. Very tall. I have, but I could never get into The Witcher. Yeah, I, I played like five or so hours of The Witcher 3 and just it, I couldn't get into it. But I want to give it another try, you know? I feel like I want to give it another try. I also want to not get Dino Booty again. Please no Dino Booty. Please no Dino Booty. Where are we going? Where are we going? I think over this way. Um, I'm not too bad. Just at work though. How's work going though today, Daisy? How was your weekend? How was your weekend with you and Sleepy? Did you have a pretty solid weekend? I am just in a volcano temple tree topia thing. I mean, it, you think with all the trees here, wouldn't the trees burn? Is that just me? I don't know. I don't think I've ever once in my life seen trees that close to lava, but maybe that's me. Um, I think she's roughly like nine feet tall. Holy crap. That is pretty tall. I think we found Shaq's wife. Mondays and the domains of demons. Lovely combo. Yo, how you doing today, Golly? Welcome, welcome in. Welcome in, my friend. How was your weekend, Golly? Bonfire ahead. It said there's a bonfire somewhere. Could be a troll, though. I feel like a lot of these messages, I don't know if they're just trolling me or if they're actually real. Unless maybe these are invisible. Oh, that is not... Oh, my God. Holy crap. That's hot. I would definitely try the Trails series if you want to play an epic series. Yeah, everybody's been saying to try Trails of Cold Steel. DJ's been trying to get me into it. Trails of Cold Steel. It's behind a fake wall. Okay, one of these are fake. Wow. That dino boot. Those dino feet are not fake at all. Maybe is it this one? Weakness attacking. Okay, maybe it's this one. Bye! 
yes. I like when we uncover secrets. Um, I'm glad to hear you are doing well, though, my love. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing pretty good today, Daisy. We just vibing. We just playing some Dark Souls, burning our poor feeties off. Vibing with some good coffee and good vibes. A hundred thousand percent. I said crotch goblin. <laughs> crotch. Oh, did uh, auto mod. Auto mod is crazy intense. I don't know. I feel, I feel like I should take auto. Is there a way to like lessen auto mods intensity? Yo, Cody, welcome in. Praise the sun, right? We found the fawn buyer. That's the tale series. This is the legend. Oh, legend of hero series. I'm talking about. Gotcha. 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 So many games, so many games, so little time. We arrived. I know. Yeah, you can almost turn off auto mod. I almost think I want to. I just had it up there for like if any trolls come in and, you know, say some less than unsavory things. And then also for the link protection. But I don't know. Auto mod's a little crazy. It goes too intense. Yes, we just got the fawn buyer. Did I actually rest at it? I have I have a bad habit of like lighting the bonfire and then not resting at it. So it's modded a few words when my friend tried to explain how to make a specific meal. You have real life mods to take care of chat. Yeah, we have absolute outstanding mods. Like I love my mods to pieces. I truly don't think I could stream without them. Like they they help so much. It's either level one with minimum, which is a bit more or no auto mod. Could just ban specific words and settings though. I might look into that. Just banning specific words. I usually need auto mod to help me out because I'm typically alone mod wise. Have you there's I've definitely thought about like adding more mods for sure. I don't know. I, I know some people will do like I just don't know the whole I don't know. Mods are definitely amazing a million percent. I definitely think I, I have thoughts for adding a few more though. Okay. Um, I think, oh my God. Oh my God, y'all. Do you see this? He's literally coming at me through the wall. That's ridiculous. Just had to get rid of one of mine, unfortunately. So I'm down to two and just unfortunately can't be there often. Yeah. What do y'all think is like the best method for just, I guess maybe just asking. I feel like uh, there's a couple people I've thought about asking if they would want to be a mod. Yo, beautiful starfish in the house. How you doing today, star? Welcome in, legend. Automod flagged me earlier for saying but. <laughs> See, like, like that stuff's ridiculous. Like, say all the butts you want, my friend. Never, yeah, it never hurts to ask. Right, right. Yeah, that's what I would say. Like, if if there's somebody who's just like constantly like a regular there, I I I, I would say like maybe asking them, right? You know, we got you, Daisy Mart or not. We will tell some people off. Yes. Yes. Some people just like they can't they can't have a good time. They just got to ruin it all for everybody. Right? Yes, we love Mizzy a thousand percent. She is the bestest. Oh, I have six mods, I think. Yeah, worst they could say is no. A hundred percent. Right. I'm always getting asked if I'm always watching them. I'd never say no. Yeah, I would pro I have like maybe two or three people in mind who I would at least inquire about. Um, yeah, it never hurts to ask, I think. It also never hurts to figure out where the F we even go here. Where to? Where to? We got to this fawn buyer. Is there like anything we can run on or? I mean, we can run on lava. Maybe we should just run over here. Freedom. I'm not in the military anymore. I'm always free, dude. Hell yeah. What you got planned for uh, the rest of your day, Cody? What you got planned for the rest of your day, Starfish? What you got planned for the rest of your day, Pajama Princess Daisy? Is anybody else streaming later? Anybody else playing any games later? Hey, I think we actually got somewhere. I feel like sometimes I'm like talking to chat and asking questions and then I look down and I'm like, oh, we're actually going somewhere. Can't wait to stream Resident Evil 8 later today. So is it officially called Resident Evil 8 or is it called Resident Evil Village? In fact, you can actually found the path without looking up. It's very impressive. <laughs> it's definitely luck. Like I, I'm I'm 90% focused on chat and just kind of like very half assed playing the game sometimes. Not all the time, but like especially during boss fights, I have to like really focus on the game. But a lot of times exploring, I'm just it's, it's very uh subconscious almost feels like 
streaming more ys tonight how how far into it are you now are you now dj streaming some apex practicing for the turning that resident evil village yeah resident evil village has like taken over twitch over the weekend i swear swerk and then sleepy is going to play re8 later yes so much re8 love i love it i've actually never i was telling heather this um because she was also playing village i've never actually really even watched more than like five minutes of a resident evil game so maybe would y'all be down for some resident evil streams maybe when we're done with like dark souls or kind of like down the road maybe kind of playing through the resident evil series would y'all be down for that play more raft yo raft is a ton of fun i love the raft streams i am so down for re stream can you do re7 and v oh my god i've seen money money benjamin play resident evil 7 in vr and oh my god it <laughs> it looks terrifying it looks like really terrifying <laughs> yes oh when you see the logo village gotcha it has the eight highlighted gotcha so it's kind of like resident evil village eight fire no more fire yo welcome in get a blue how you doing today heck yes resident evil love we got some big resident evil fans in chat hell yeah me never knowing anything about re besides someone always needs to wait in a garbage dumpster to make it garbage dumpster to make it easier i have seen the resident evil movies but a lot of people say the movies are like not at all like they're very different than the actual games right resident evil village eight fire <laughs> my brain in a nutshell left right squirrel toaster strudel fire it's just going all over the place yo food time Ooh, what you making cody what you got for food hopefully something yummy wow is that hovering is that just like floating is that how physics work okay interesting dark souls physics in a nutshell totally different from the games I, I might have had a little bit of a little bit of a crush on Mia Jovovich. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Mia Jovovich. Um, who played, what did she play? She played Alice, right? In the movies growing up. She was a badass. She was an absolute badass. The movies pissed me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> movies pissed me off as an Ari fan. <laughs> what is that? This like we're getting into like some bloodborne looking stuff here. Um, yo, Lion Hearts, welcome in. Happy Monday. Tried to play RE4 back in the day. I was good until I heard the chains. So actually, I'm the exact same way, Lion. My dad brought home Resident Evil 4 one day for me to try. And I think I played like 20 minutes of it. And then Leon kept getting his head cut off by the chainsaw. And I just stopped playing it. So I think we're the exact same thing what is this it's like so cute what are those sounds it's making what even is this like i don't even know what this is it's kind of cute but also kind of terrifying and also kind of dead your dad brought you resident evil 4 to try that as one awesome dad right there he's absolutely an awesome dad yeah he got me um okay you want to hear something funny starfish I look so, so, so wrong. So my dad, my mom was like really intense on us not watching like any rated R movies. She was, yeah, she was, she was like that. So no rated R movies, no rated M games, anything like that. Um, so my dad actually bought me God of War and Halo and made like these case covers on like Photoshop or something and replaced the rated M with rated T. <laughs> I was like 13 or 14 or something when that and so I was playing like God of War with like the case that said rated T so if my mom ever came in and she's like what game is this I'm like it's rated T I could play it yeah it was it was ridiculous uh yeah I tried playing multiple times too I'm just not into horror games it looks like kind of like a horror action game though right I mean, it was a good actress but nothing followed the games the games are so good the third one isn't it like apocalypse like apocalypse is kind of like resident evil 3 i haven't played god of war yet but i want to honestly the old ones are amazing the new remake 
not remake but like god of war 4 that's not called god of war 4 um that one's amazing if you get a chance to play them Mizzy, i would 100 percent recommend to they're so good um when in doubt dark souls physics <laughs> kind of re7 at the start when things get good and then towards the end was more of a shooter hmm but i like shooters too so i'm actually like pretty excited if if we do hit which it looks like we definitely are going to hit the saturday stream things seems like a lot more people are into crash though than doom eternal but if we do hit doom eternal i haven't played a, a shooter in a super long time so i'm actually really excited to play uh doom eternal if we do hit it oh speaking of hey wifey good morning how's that delicious coffee um shout out to all the dads out there spending common interest with their kids yes 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 i don't know how do you all feel about like rated have like kids watching rated r movies or rated m games like how what are your thoughts about that like is there maybe an appropriate age where they can watch a rated m or rated r movie could they just watch it anytime they want i i don't I've thought about that like if i ever had kids like would i let them watch rated r movies right away hold off what are y'all thoughts on that god of war 2018 is the awesome amount to play it but i watched too many streams of it yo even if you get a chance to play it i would still say go for it it's so good hey that's a shiny can we get back over there at all maybe maybe not probably not okay definitely not <laughs> Uh, my senior year of high school, my computer technician class teacher said if the class built a server in a month, we could play Halo the rest of the semester and get a hundred. We built it in four days, dude. That, that is a 10 out of 10 teacher right there. That is teacher of the year right there, Lord Jukebox. Oh, well, my dad introduced me to Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, Metal Gear Solid, Splinter Cell. He was an amazing man. Big shout out, yes, to like parents who want to just... I think it's really important for kids to find what they themselves love and then for the parents whether they love that same thing or not but to try to find an interest in it you know i feel like if i was a parent i would try to do something like that you know like oh you love painting i don't know anything about painting but i'm interested in learning if it's something you love you know not in oh not until they're 18 my parents bought me brought me to watch the terminator 2 in the theaters it was around 9 or 10 at the time dude Terminator 2 is so good. Terminator 2, though, like, I feel like, I feel like there's, like, different R-rated movies, you know? Like, there's, like, Terminator, which is kind of just, like, a lot of action, and then there's, like, I don't know. I feel like there's a difference between action R-rated movies and, like, super-duper, like, sexual R-rated movies. Like, I don't know if I'd want an eight-year-old kid watching something super-duper sexy happening on. I don't know. I don't have to think about that as I don't have kids. <laughs> Yo, much, much welcome in. Happy Monday. Hope you are doing absolutely amazing sauce this beautiful Monday. Hope you had an awesome weekend, much. Another, everybody, another magnificent, incredible Soulsborne streamer. Much manga. Love her to pieces. She is awesome sauce. Um, oh, hold on. I, I definitely want to read through this. Rating systems are useless, in my opinion. It never stopped younger people from playing. They sneak the games. I know because I did it as a kid. I, I did it as a kid, too. <laughs> Think kids watch rated R movies depends on the kids. Some kids can watch stuff, no problems, and some can't. I would say it depends on a lot. How are they brought up? How do they react to it? How mature are they? It's just a number that doesn't gauge much. Right, right. Our kids have seen R rated movies, but it depends on the reason for the rating. Yeah, yeah. My parents rented speech species species at one point and instantly regretted it soon after <laughs> yo zipper neck welcome in zipper happy monday i'm a souls born player oh you absolutely souls born player hell yeah much hell yeah but only with all of the love right yo, the souls born community on twitch is absolutely amazing there's so much love here oh is it speckies speckies I'm getting my eyes covered as I watch Troy in theaters at age four. Dude, Troy, that's a good movie too. That's with Brad Pitt, I think, right? I haven't seen that in a super long time either. I'm pretty much just exploring here, but I know there was a shiny down here I at least want to try to grab. Oh, species. Oh, species. Oh my God. Species. Species. Never mind. Speckies. Lots of nudity. Hey. 
species. Uh, kids will be kids will be kids will be kids. I remember, dude, I remember in health class getting like the health books and like the very first page, <laughs> the very first page somebody wrote in the health book, like in pencil. And it was like, turn to page, I don't know, 47 or 117 or whatever. And it was boobies. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> kids will be kids will be kids, right? Uh, I don't have kids either. My mom is aware that she's getting grandkids either. So I don't have to, don't have to worry about that. Right. Oh, whoa. You do have to worry. Oh, whoa. That is like throwing lava at me. What? Well, I got a big dude. This is why is ridiculous. Is it just me or does the Zwei hander kind of turn dark souls into easy mode? Just a little bit. We all just watched Freaky and it's R. There was only one quick 15 second, 15 second scene, but the rest was just fun and bloody. Right, right, right. Kind of like Freddy versus Jason. Like that movie was bloody and ridiculous and over the top, but there was like one or two little nudity parts. Is why it, oh, is why easy mode? What do you think is like the hardest way to play Dark Souls? I'm sure Dark Souls has more coming to compensate for this. Why? Oh, I bet. We haven't even done any of the DLC yet. So I'm sure that's going to be a ton of fun. But like with the R2 attack, it like staggers enemies. A, not all the enemies, but even but a lot of them, even like bosses. So if we do like an R2 attack, we can like usually get a second one in there. And by the, that time, they're usually dead. Ooh, pyromancy. I haven't played with any pyromancy at all this whole game. That would be fun to do like a, a, a new game plus, right? Hidden path. What a bunch of trolls. See, whenever this comes up, hidden path ahead, I never know if they're like trolling or anyways, moving on. Actually, no lava kick only try torch. Oh, a torch only run in Bloodborne. Yeah, no. Definitely no on that. <laughs> Need master. There's still random ledges and cliffs and for you to walk off accident. Yo, this that is these entire games, Zipperneck. Like, I swear they made these games just with as much open areas as possible for you to accidentally fall off the ledge. It's kind of great, but kind of frustrating at the same time. Boss again? Oh. Okay, never mind. Try down. I mean, it looks like we can only go down. Try down. Down, down, down. Um. Let's see. If you think this is truly just waiting until Dark Souls 2, 99.9%. .9%. Oh, right. Or even the ledge ones where it'll be like, it'll be like, um, uh, try jumping off this cliff. And then if you jump, you just jump to your death. So. Am I able to post clips? So I think mods are the only ones that can post clips, Lord Jukebox. But if you send it to me in a whisper or something, um, if you send it to me in a whisper, then I can totally check it out. So thanks so much for the shout out. I said, oh, you are totally fine much. What, what kind of tea did you get? Green tea? Green tea so good. Okay, do we just slide down? Do we not slide down? Okay. Can, do we like run into stuff? No, okay. All right. What are we doing? Oh no. Oh, I think this is it. I've seen fortune do this. Uh oh. Okay. I have seen, I have seen fortune fight this boss, but I don't, I don't know. When, I don't know. I've heard a lot of people hate this boss though. Okay. What are we doing? What is this? Oh, that slammed right on my head we attack this oh my god wow okay it's like don't get near this dude okay never mind i i guess maybe we don't attack that yet do we attack it ah yo pajama princess daisy thank you so much for the host maybe we do attack it okay i i don't think we attack it I swear I remember her like attacking something though, right? Okay. I think we are going the right way. Okay. 
Oh, bed of chaos. <laughs> Seems like nobody's excited for this boss. <laughs> Yo, Avenged, happy Monday though. Welcome in. How you doing today, Avenged? My UK peeps told me to buy Yorkshire. Yo, same Yorkshire. Everybody says Yorkshire is like the best tea. Okay. Now what? Oh, it still has like full health. Doing well. How are you, Zeph? I'm doing super good. Just fighting better. Uh oh. Um. Just fighting bed of chaos maybe not even fighting what where where to now oh there is another one okay never mind we're dead we're dead we're dead so okay there's is there like two shields we got to take down I like red rose black tea is nostalgia for me oh no we're still super far away is there wait wasn't there where was is this the last bonfire Mm, nice try <laughs> run it back is this the closest spawn is this the closest bonfire to bed of chaos kombucha bet you oh i've actually never had kombucha before there's been a couple times i've been interested in trying it but like wifey says it's very vinegary tasting and i don't like vinegar very much so maybe one day i'll try it though is it kombucha or kombuka kombuka uh yeah we are going the right way please try it on stream all right sounds like a plan lord jukebox um what were wifey and i interested in doing i did have some upcoming plans for um maybe some new channel points that would tie into maybe making some youtube videos on stream would you all be down for something like that yo captain jazz in the house welcome in dude Happy Monday, Captain Jazz. Kombucha. Kombucha. Kombu. That's a cool word. I like that word. Run past, run past, run past. All right. Bed of chaos. Bed of chaos. Bed of chaos. Seems pretty. This is a long run back, actually. Was it here? I think it was here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful starfish. Always beautiful, right? I think that was it. I think it was down here. Too many games on sale in the PlayStation Store. Oh, I can't even look at sales. I'm, I'm pretty good about not buying stuff, but yeah, it was right here. Okay. But ah, especially Steam. I just want to buy like so many games on Steam to prep for uh, the PC, but oh, they're just like, they're so expensive. So many games. Hot. How many times have you fought this boss? This is my second try. So second try right now. Wait, let's get our souls. Let's get our souls. Where were our souls? Oh my God. That was okay. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um, we're, I'm just trying to find my freaking souls. Never mind. Um, and not die. Oh, well. Um, maybe we should just give up on the souls. Oh, where were my souls? Oh, dude, dude, whoa. Oh, I guess we just lost like 30,000 souls. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay. This boss yeah everybody seems to not enjoy this boss <laughs> um yeah second try was a total fail so i guess now i don't even have to worry about the souls that's the biggest thing with these games like going into boss battles with souls is just pointless but had i known we were going to a boss i probably would have used a homeward bone or something and gone back and spent them but i mean thirty thousand isn't that much right um the damage as is mental oh from bed of chaos yeah this is it's a weird boss so do we like attack the tree i think i attacked one of those fire balls i don't know i have so many questions i feel like i'm not even getting much time with the boss to actually kind of like check it out it's just nope enter in the boss and die 
but maybe third time will be the charm. Oh, <laughs> Zeph speaking out loud again. Thank you, Zach. You the best. You the best. I do that a lot. My bad. Me losing 900 and wait, 910 million souls. Wait, you lost 910 million souls. How did you not spend them? Like. I need to know more, Lord Jukebox. Please elaborate on that. <laughs> okay, round three. Yo, this is pretty fun, though. We surfing. We surfing. Wee! How many times did this boss take you, Zach? And much. And, and Dark Phoenix, everybody. Is this... How many times did this boss end up taking everybody? Okay, so it does... It looks like that second one is gone. Maybe I'm just going to go up and start like attacking the boss and. S okay. All right. That does nothing. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. That. Okay. It's harder for me than Ornstein and Smau. No, please. God, don't say that. But look to the glowing roots. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay. We got the one glowing root down. I think I did see a second one. Maybe we can't attack the boss until we take them both down. Maybe they're like shields or something. I think like 15. 15 isn't too bad. I mean, so many tries to figure out what the fuck was going on. Yo, I'm feeling that right now, Captain Jazz. I'm like... So I did attack the tree root and that didn't look like it did anything. Hmm. PvP level was 120. Ah. Uh -huh. That's okay. Was 120 and it had everything I needed, so I didn't really need them unless I wanted to go to high level and no PvP for like 15 minutes and went back to slaying in PvP. Hell yeah. So here's a question I want to ask. Want to ask everybody. Who here? Who here? would be down to do like a Bloodborne or Dark Souls co-op stream one day. Maybe like hop in Discord and what's the max amount of people you can have in co-op? Whether we do like Chalice Dungeons or whether we do like play through a brand new game and see how fast we can go through it. Um, Dark Souls co-op. So how many people can we have in one co-op at once? Because I've been thinking about doing a a particular stream where maybe we get like two or three or four people in discord on like video chat and maybe do like a co-op of like running through the game together i believe four in the remaster okay oh dark phoenix this is a lot tougher than ons this dude took me 10 plus attempts but was a higher level than you can't remember exactly okay let's get our thinking caps on go for the glowing things go for the glowing things right Let's also be full health. I think full health would not be a bad idea. Or as close to full as we can. <clears throat> the other thing after we're done with this Lord Soul, I think this is the Lord, right? This is out of chaos's. I thought it was the Witch of Isolith or something, though. I do see the glowing orb over there, so I'm gonna go for that one. And let's not get hit. No, no, <laughs> dude, he's gonna like knock me off the edge. Ah, uh, heal, heal, heal. Dude, dude, dude. Okay. Um. Wow, he's like not not even giving me. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. You died. I'm feeling that a lot. Feeling that a lot. Well, so much for being a badass and taking down Centipede Demon first try, right? This is another O and S segment. Oh no. O and S was enough for one playthrough of a game. I don't need an O and S part two. Um, okay, so we gotta get to that shining orb thing on the right side and not get hit. Slowly dra draining Seth's sanity. I got a lot of sanity today, so Bed of Chaos is gonna have to try real hard. 
I did notice the left one that we took out like the first try though is still gone. So if we take out the right side one, I'm guessing they stay dead. The shields or whatever they are. No matter how many attempts, coffee sanity, yo much. Always coffee love, my friend. Yeah, I definitely look because I think there was two of them when I first started. And now there's only one. So I'm guessing if we can get that right one, then we can start attacking the tree. Dude, but like, look up here. Are we, we must be in a volcano or something. That is really wild to see. It's like lava on the ceiling. That's very interesting. Okay. Um, are we going the right way? Did we turn somewhere we shouldn't have? Yeah, okay, here. All right, round four, I think. Even if we die, as long as we get that second shield down, I, I, I'll be okay with it. It's okay, Zeph. I'm, I'm feeling good, Killer Draco. This is the one. This is the one. It's the worst boss in the game. <laughs> Everybody has said that. I don't think there's been a single person who's like, I like this boss. This is a fun boss. Everybody for the most part. Let's just stay away from the hole. Okay. Maybe we can block. Nope. No block. Okay. Um, oh, dude. Don't kick me over the edge, though. Please. I got to roll so I don't fall off the edge, but I got to heal, but I got to heal, but I got to heal. Come on. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. As long as we get this down, even if we die, it's okay. Come on. What are we hitting? What are we even attacking? That? I guess that. Okay. Yo, little Calcifer, welcome in. Happy Monday. How you doing today? It's just a dookie fight. Dookie. Yo, I haven't heard that term dookie in a long time. Here we go. Now we get to actually fight. So what do we do? Hit the tree. Okay. Not that. Hit. Here we go. Holy hot. Wow. Okay. Um, ooh, hit that. What are we hitting? Let's heal. Let's heal. Heal, 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 heal. Don't get kicked down the, the hole, though. Oh, he's going to, like, whack me off the ledge. I can feel it. No. Maybe we got to wait for his, like, hand to slam down. Okay, dude, we blocked that. Yes, yes. No, no. Oh, uh, oh, attack. Okay. 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 When the game creator apologizes for the fight. Wait, did he really? Did Miyazaki apologize for this fight? Is it that bad? Yo, Cage, welcome in, dude. How you doing today? Happy Monday, Cage. Thinking, Zeph thinks. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a thinker. I try to use my big brain power as much as possible. <laughs> Just a, just a, a light 41 deaths. <gasps> Dude, you got a PS5? What? Cage! What, what game did you get first with it, dude? Hell yeah, congratulations. Not accurate at all. You think? I, I think we're maybe like missing just one or two, Zach. I think it's pretty, pretty close. <laughs> Death plus a thousand. Yeah, we're, we're definitely over like two or 300 deaths, so... Miyazaki legitimately apologized for this fight. Really? It's that bad? I mean, it feels... The hands are interesting. The knocking you off the ledge. Hmm. Hmm. I just got to figure out how we can start taking health off. This fight is definitely frustrating. Ugh. I'm not frustrated yet. I'm, I'm feeling okay. We got the two shields down. Hopefully they stay down. I'm going to like keep an eye on them when we go in next round. First game I started playing on PS5 was the Pathless. Oh, cool. But I put it on hold for a minute while I plot yo Astro's Playroom. I still haven't played Astro's Playroom cage, but I have watched a couple people play it. And supposedly it like makes really good use of the controller. Like the controller feels really cool, right? What do you think about the controller? That big old sword. Yeah, we go in with the Zwei. Zwei is doing us well today. It takes a ton of, takes a huge amount of damage too. You play it, it's really fun and great use of the controller. You know, honestly, 
like i think this might be my favorite controller i've ever used like i really like it a lot it's a it's a good one yo is there fire behind us what the f was that okay the things are dead so now we just got to get to it somehow okay oh oh i see i see a path okay that's how we get to it i wow this is interesting we just gotta like roll okay 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 was this it yo we're gonna catch on fire don't catch on fire fire's hot we should probably heal right let's heal um is this better be what is that is that like a fire is there another shield we got to take out do, 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 do. holy crap holy crap heal 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 out of chaos i don't know where you're hiding but i'm coming for you bug wait 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 is that it wait is that it what is this what is this g g freaking g is this it am i missing something oh whoa 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 okay 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 wait was that all the health wait was that it was that it that lord soul that was it <laughs> what that's the whole fight that's it uh interesting very interesting yo little calcifer thank you so much for the video love my friend you did it that wasn't I, I, I didn't, I mean, that wasn't too bad, right? You already did the hardest part over your attempts. It was the shields getting the shields out. That was very interesting. That was interesting. That's the whole fight. Lamest boss ever, in my opinion. One hit. Interesting. I guess you attacked this weak point for massive damage, like some kind of giant crab. No one likes the bed of chaos. I mean, honestly, I wasn't too bad. I wasn't I I mean I I didn't personally I didn't think it was that bad but the the sweeping attacks were kind of annoying gotta run Zeph much love misunderstood thank you always so damn much for hanging out my friend I hope you have an amazing amazing Monday you are amazing you know we love you to pieces you take care out there stay safe love you so much Mizzy you're awesome I think we'll put it in more decks I've been I've been liking decks I've been liking Dex. Dex is good. More more Dex better. All right. Um, and we did get a Lord Soul, right? Let's let's take a look at it. Uh, or is it Lord Soul Bed of Chaos? Soul of the Bed of Chaos and the Mother of All Demons. The Mother of All Demons. This Lord Soul was found at the dawn of the Age of Fire. The Witch of Isolith. Wait, wasn't it called Lost Isolith was the name of the fire city we were in? The Witch of Isolith attempted to duplicate the first flame from a soul, but instead created a distorted being of chaos and fire. Its power formed a bed of life which would become the source of all demons and is more than enough to sati satiate the Lord Vessel. Very interesting, very interesting. Level, wait, are we level 69? <laughs> nice level 69 boy not bad but it's just a lame boss no real sense of overcoming a great challenge just tedious and gimmicky I, I i do i do get that yeah definitely was i don't know maybe it would have been maybe it would have been more difficult if the shields respond like you had to take out both shields and get to bed of chaos i don't know maybe that would have just been more annoying than better maybe just more annoying maybe not Boston theory isn't tough it's just getting to its source that's the hard part yeah the like flame things were interesting glad I caught that but now I have to work yo little calcifer thank you so much for hanging out thank you so much for the bitty love my friend I hope you have a kick-ass day at work you are always welcome here we love you to pieces 
You have a good day at work, my friend. Oh, thank you for the five bitty love as well. Much, much love, little Calcifer. Yo, Iris, welcome in. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling really, really good today. We got awesome friends in chat. We got some coffee vibes. We just took down two bosses. I'm feeling good today. Now we got to decide where we go next, though. Okay, is this the... I'm guessing this is... We got the Lord Soul, so this is the end of the line for this area, I'm assuming. Nothing else we can kind of hack away. Oh, you got that Starbucks? Yeah, Starbucks Espresso. It makes... The Starbucks Espresso makes good coffee, honestly. I like our espresso beans we get. I missed it. So glad to hear thought of you. Oh, thought of you over the weekend. Thank you so much, Iris. I really, really appreciate the good vibes. Like, it really... It really, really goes farther than I can really put into words. Nothing but good and big love for you as well, my friend. And everybody. Especially over this weekend, I definitely felt like I needed <laughs> some positive vibes more than ever. But I had a good weekend. Mostly just hung out, did some stuff outside of streaming, did some more personal stuff. So it was a, it was a good weekend. The shields recharged. I would never play the game without exploits or glitches. I would skip it. <laughs> Lord Jukebox, like, no way. If the shields respawn, we're out. All right. So there's four Lord Souls, everybody. We've done two. We did Nito. We did Bed of Chaos. There's two more. I think there is one in Anor Londo, right? Where's the set? Where's the fourth one at? Uh, I'm trying to think of where, like, another yellow door thing was <gasps> new londo that was the other one right new londo all right everybody so should we do new londo no you know what i, I want to go anor londo let's do anor londo let's save new londo new londo's the ghost town right let's save new londo for last the four kings of new londo yeah so let's let's save new londo for last Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Wait, why is this person trying to kill me? What the hell? Wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait, wait! Dude, why am I being attacked right now? What the hell? I recommend new Londo. It is much easier. Zeph, Zeph, what, what? Bram told you the four. The four kings of new Londo. Did you fight Gwendolyn? That was the one where there it was like the illusionary hall, right? Yeah, I did fight that one. Do I have to fight this person? She like sold stuff to me, right? I did fight the illusion one. I guess we're going to have to. I don't want to fight you. Yep, kill her. Okay. You made friends of the dark moon, then broke the friendship immediately. She, oh, she works. Gotcha. Okay. So we're going to have to zwy her. This man I'm telling y'all, double R2, it's ridiculous. <gasps> a firekeeper soul. Wait, that's important, right? What does a firekeeper soul do again? That's important. That's a thing. Boost. <gasps> Boost the power of the Estus flask. A firekeeper keeper soul is a draw for humanity and held within their bosoms. Below just a thin layer of skin are swarms of humanity that writhe and squirm. Her brass armor serves to disguise this ghastly form. Oh! Boosts. Boosts our Estus Flask? How do we use this? You got a Firekeeper soul from it? She's loyal to... Yeah, so if you fight him, you gotta fight her. Finally, after hours, we can upgrade the heals. You give it to a Firekeeper like... The Firelink Shrine one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's do it. Wait. Firekeeper is absent, cannot. But wait, wait, wait. Kill it. Wait. Oh no. Wait, but I liked this bonfire. This is like a good bonfire. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. I'm thinking. There's other bonfires around here, right? Yeah, there's the one in the chamber of the princess. Gotta use a different bonfire. Actually, wait, wait. We're gonna use our big, we're going big brain right now. I think we have Homeward Bone. Return to the last bonfire rested at. I'm gonna do this first. You killed the flame boy. Ah, okay. Lost eyes elite. So let's warp to Firelink Shrine. There we go, there we go. He's learning, I'm so proud, slowly but surely. We're getting there, Lord Jukebox. <laughs> uh, okay, but so 
how many fire keeper souls are there in the game so this is we're, we're at plus one Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We she died and we restored her, I think, because we killed Lotria Lotrenic. The gold guy. The bad guy. Use Firekeeper Soul to reinforce Estus Flask. Yes! Ah! Plus two! I wonder how far we can get it. Seven. But you only have access to two more currently. So which I wonder which it doesn't show you which ones you've already gotten, right? We did do, I guess. The Anne Orlando one we just did. I wonder what the other one we did was. Hmm. We'll we'll hold off on this until maybe a little bit later. Let's let's head back to Anne Orlando. Wait, can we actually even warp to Anne Orlando? Warp. It's still there. Will it let us warp to it? Yo, we can go up to plus seven. Oh, that's the max. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yo, plus seven. Is that essentially like every time you use it, it goes from 0% health to 100% health? Interesting. So we can still warp back here. We just can't warp from here. Okay. Okay. That's okay. We got that. Yo, RS Gaming. Happy Monday, my friend. Welcome in. How you doing today? How's your day going? All right. We, there was, there was the other one, I think over here somewhere, right? It was like the yellow wall somewhere else around here. I think the yellow wall usually means that there's a Lord soul, right? Yes. Up here. I do remember. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I think we'll save new Londo for the very end. I think we'll save new Londo for the, for the last one. Oh yeah, and it's not glowing yellow anymore. Because I think when we get the Lord Vessel, that's when all... F There's four of these yellow fog walls, right? And all four of them disappear when we get the Lord Vessel. Okay. I'm excited to see where we go. Are we going to take down a more bosses today? We've already done two. And neither of, uh, neither of them were that bad. That is correct. Okay. Slowly but surely learning, Captain Jazz. Estus add 100 health per sip till plus three. Then from plus four onwards, it adds 50 health per sip. So if you get all seven, what would that be? 300. So 500? It would restore 500? Oh, have we? I guess we have lit the spawn fire. So we have been here before. Maybe we just lit the spawn fire and stopped here, I guess. Okay. Um, are these like for music? For reading? Maybe for reading? Technically, you can get 800 health per sip at plus seven. Wow, that's a lot. What is this place? Like a church? Um, pull lever. Okay. He's, oh, in the, oh, is this a library? I don't, I don't, is this a library? I don't see any books aside from the ones on here. Unless maybe they're limited in their book reading options, possibly. Pull the lever, Kronk. It'd be, it'd be fun to have like a, a command, actually, every time there's a lever. That like a command where Kronk shows up. That'd be fun. It's a mega nerds, mega nerds man cave. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Wait, these look like new enemies. These look like really new enemies. These look weird. Wrong lever. Why do we even have that lever? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's like one of the best movies of all time, right? One of my yes, one of the favorite movies. Same. You know what, wifey and I actually watched over the weekend. Um, we watched a goofy movie. She said she'd never seen a goofy movie before. She said she'd seen the second one, but not the first one. So, uh. Goofy movie. Man, the soundtrack in that is banging. Classic film, right? Whoa, whoa. They look like... Are we going into, like, Ice World now? Dude, oh, whoa. Holy crap. Whoa. We must be going into, like, Ice World or, or something. Yo, Maggie! Happy Monday! Welcome in, Maggie! How you doing? Time for pain? 
So I think we're going from Ice World to, uh, or from Fire World to Ice World is what it looks like. The Duke's Archives. That's the name of this place. Interesting. Yo, Flame of Hell with the epic host. Welcome in, Flame. How you doing today, buddy? Yo, King! Welcome in, King Fink. How you doing, my man? Welcome in, guys. You can take off. Oh, we can take off the lava ring now. Thank you so much. Good reminder. Good reminder. Just don't take off this one. I'm actually going to put probably the S, not the Estus, the, uh, what do you call it? Homeward bone right here. Orange. What should we swap it with everybody? This place is mob central. I'm doing amazing. Hope everything is all well with everyone. I'm doing super good today, Maggie. We took down two bosses today and the first one we did first try. I'm feeling really good. Let's do, let's do Havel's ring. I feel like Havel's ring is, is good. I like being able to fast roll. Do not unequip the fap. Do I, I will make sure I never unequip the fap. It's like anxiety just, just going over it, right? Do not unequip the fap. What a name for it. Yo, suits here in the house. How you doing today, my man? Happy, happy Monday to the legendary suits here. Two bosses and first try is always amazing. Yeah, the first one, I think it was the centipede demon. It wasn't too bad. It was pretty, pretty good. The second one though, bed of chaos was interesting. Interesting is probably the nicest way to Are these arrows like heat seeking or some BS? Been lurking for a good bit, dude. Thank you so much for the lurk, man. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome Monday. Always my man. How was your weekend suits? Dude, suits, have you? Oh God, we're gonna die again. No, we're not. Suits, have you gotten your, have you done Bloodborne no deaths yet? For anybody that does not know, Suits here is is doing a, uh, a Bloodborne no death run. I think the best you got was two deaths, right? Oh, and Yukina, thank you so much for the lurk as well, my friend. I super appreciate you. About to head into a few meetings this morning, but wanted to pop in and say, what's up, yo king? What's up, my man? Love you to pieces, dude. I hope the meetings are going solid. They got King Fink in the meeting. It's got to be a good meeting. I'm just saying. No death naked SL. Yeah. Suits going naked. Yo, Smiley, thank you so much for the epic follow, my friend. Welcome in. Hope you're having an awesome day. Needs to get actual work, but back in a bit. Sounds like a plan, Iris. Thank you so much again for the lurk. I appreciate you. Mikolash despawned while I was fighting him. Despawned? Despawned? How did he despawn? Yo, I'm about to despawn this crystal thing. I wonder if we... We don't have like a flame sword or anything, right? Oh my goodness. Zipper. We should do some cat... We should do some puppy treats. <gasps> puppy treats. Oh, they know. They're coming. Hold on. Let me make sure we don't die here and then we definitely got to do some puppy treats um can we i think i think we should be good i think we should be good right here okay puppy treat time let's just put that there let's put that there and let's bring the puppy squad over let's see remember that crystal golem it holds the dlc item Oh, did the music not change? There it goes. Okay. Holds a DLC item. Crystal Golem. Crystal Golem. Crystal Golem. I don't know which Crystal Golem. The one we just hit was? You have the broken pendant in your inventory. I will check in a moment, Lord Jukebox. I want my treat fees before I go to work. All right. All right. Here. What are we doing? Ellie catch. Ellie. Ellie girl. Hi. First puppy treats of... The day of the week. All right, Ellie, you ready for your first puppy treat? You ready? You ready, Ellie bug? And <gasps> get it. Oh, Ellie, get it. Get it right there, right there. Get it. Okay. That like, <laughs> like bounced off of her. Okay. Layla. Boogeyman. Boogeyman, you want to leave it? Come here. Boogeyman, come here, puppy treats. Puppy treats. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Boogie, come here. Come here, up. Boogie, come here. Come here. Boogie. Come on, up. Booker. What are you? Dude, dude, Booker. Booker. 
He literally just came in to grab his bone and then he left. Dude, Booker, you want a puppy treat? <laughs> Booker! All right, Boogeyman gets no puppy treats. Yep, he's he, he, we got rejected. Layla, you know what that means? Layla gets two. I don't even feel bad. The way he came in here and looked at me and grabbed his bone and then ran away. I don't even feel bad. Layla getting double puppy treats. You see them both stacked on her snout? Boogeyman said they aren't good enough. I want more than one puppy treat. Layla, Layla though. She's the, she's the queen of food. Look at that balance. Look at that balance. Double treat balance. You leave it. Hold on. Let's make sure it's focused. You leave it. Are we focusing? There it goes. Okay. And... Get it. Ow! <laughs> oh, Layla's so adorable. She's ridiculous. Hi. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You, nope, nope. You, you lost your chance. Go away. Nope. You, you don't get, you get nothing. You get nothing. You lost your chance. I don't even feel bad. <laughs> oh, she's even staring at you like Boogie does. She's channeling her inner boogeyman. Oh, look at this dog. Now he, now, now he's coming here. He's like, wait, wait, wait. There actually were puppy treats. I want one. I right, we should put a donut on Zeph's nose and do leave it. <laughs> Hi, boogeyman. Hi, boogeyman. Should I give him a treat? Zipper, what do you think? Should we give him a treat even though he rejected us from the puppy treat? Should we fall for it? Father, I was mistaken. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, okay. You want a puppy treat? You want a puppy treat? What? Do you not like it? Come here. Oh, and then Layla's right here just ready to, to intercept. Okay. You leave it. He is the gopher's boy. He's the goodish boy. He's the goodish boy. I don't know. He rejected us pretty hard right there. Are you trying to earn it back? You trying to earn your love back? I don't know. I don't know. Should we let him have it? Should we? Should we let him have it? Ah, uh, fine. And... <gasps> oh! Oh, Layla! Oh! Yeah! He went early and Layla got it. He went early and Layla got it. Okay. Layla sniped it. Layla got it. He went early and Layla got it. So we gave him a, you know what? Shh, shh. Nobody, nobody say anything. Our secret, everybody, our, our secret. <laughs> that is what three treats for Layla. Yeah, three treats, three treats. What? Look at Ellie over here. She's like, wait a minute. Layla got three. Boogie got two. You see little Ellie over here? Do you see Layla down there again? She's trying to snipe another one. This dog is crazy. They're all the best. They're pretty cute. All right. Oh, should we get, should we give should we give Ellie another one? These dogs are out of control, man. All right. You can have a second one. Two treats for the price of one. You're welcome. You're welcome, Ellie. Can I have another, sir? <laughs> pretty much right there. Oh, I, I, I fall for Ellie. She got the puppy eyes. She got the puppy eyes. This one though. Hi, Layla. Nope. She doesn't want to hang out now that she, uh, she got her puppy treat. Yo, sun and showers. Welcome in. Happy Monday, son. How you doing today? Oh, and thank you so much too for the epic host, my friend. I appreciate you, sun and showers. Ellie was such a good girl. The whole Ellie is... Honestly, Ellie is like the sweetest dog I've ever met in my life. She, there is not one ounce of, of aggression or meanness or negativity. She is like the sweetest dog I've ever met in my life. I always give my dogs fancy posh voices to make it even funnier. Oh, the puppies. Well, they got their treats and they ditched me. So 
no love for Zeph when he isn't given puppy treats, I guess. I guess that's all we're good for in life is just puppy treats, you know? Nobody likes me for any other reason. Okay. I guess now I have to leave. Have fun, everyone. Yo, Zipperneck, thank you so much for the puppy treats. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a kick-ass rest of your day at work. Much love, my friend. You got this. Go conquer the day, my friend. Just like I'm about to conquer these crystally ice demon things. Oh, oh, what was it? We wanted to look for an item, right? What was it called? What was the, the item that got us to the DLC? Mm, let's see. Kill that crystal go golem. If you don't have the broken pendant. Broken pendant. Okay. Broken pendant. Broken pendant. I don't think we have it. It doesn't sound familiar. I don't think we have broken pendant yet. Hmm. But. Oh, we just walked right into that. Oh, smack down and dude, the Zwei is just so much fun to use. I'm I'm just saying, this is such a fun weapon. It's so great just smashing everything. It's like Hulk smash for Dark Souls. Um, if not, we can worry about getting the DLC before the final boss. Ooh, that was that was hit. Once you do the last boss, it starts the next game cycle. Yes, kind of like Bloodborne, right, Lord Jukebox? So that's what I think we're gonna do. We'll do all the normal bosses in the game. And then right before we do Gwen, because Gwen's the last one. I do know that. Right before we do Gwen, we'll do all the DLC bosses. And then we'll finish the game off with Gwen. I'm down. I feel like we gotta be, ooh, we gotta be getting close, right? Does Bloodborne start the next cycle? Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, so Bloodborne's the same way, essentially, where it's like Caduceus Shield? Interesting. Where it's like you can get actually with bloodborne cool thing with bloodborne is you can actually get to the dlc probably like the first 20 percent through the game so after you well i won't spoil nothing but bloodborne dlc is so good it's great yo christmas cthulhu in the house happy monday christmas have you already met dusk dusk i don't know if that name sounds familiar i don't know if that name sounds familiar we just got here to duke's archive so uh just kind of exploring now and seeing what's next but how's your monday going christmas how you doing today buddy we just uh smashing and trashing these ice demons found an umbilical cord in another shop it looks similar to the to the one i level up yet i'm guessing that is the real one and mine is a dream Oh, how far how far are you in bloodborne lord jukebox what was the last boss you uh you fought twinkling titanite look at all these books there is something so beautiful about libraries i feel like libraries are so gorgeous like look at all the, the spines this would be cool this would be it'd be cool to have a room like this or have like a like have like a bookshelf and just have like classic books on there you know like arabian nights or i don't know it'd be cool Yo, that's why you aren't getting the broken pendant by Mondays. Um, are doing great. How are you, Zeph? I am doing absolutely stellar sauce today. We just vibing, taking down bosses, kicking ass. I'm feeling really good today. Honestly, Christmas Cthulhu. How was your weekend? Did you do anything super fun? Oh, yes. Found Amygdala in the shadows. So actually, Lord Jukebox, um, after you defeat Vicar Amelia, you can go straight to the Bloodborne DLC if you want. So if you want to just jump straight into Bloodborne DLC, you should be able to. It's tough though. Bloodborne DLC, the first boss right out the DLC is just pretty insane. My bosses will become the CEOs here now. Exactly, Sun and Showers. Exactly. What is this? Like an elevator up and... Interesting. It's all like snowy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, is it like one of the snowy black knights? Except icy? Ow, that, that hurt. Ooh. Oh, dude, he just parried me. Holy crap. I just got parried. I just got. Wow. No pro skills here, it, it would seem. 
<laughs> Fortunately, PS Now doesn't have DLC, even though I bought it before I found it. It'll only recognize the game as the base game. Gotcha, even though I own the DLC. Well, that's dumb. That sucks. The DLC is like... The Bloodborne DLC is like some of the best bosses I've ever fought in the game. Oh, oh, these things are good. Twinkling Titanite. What's been your favorite boss you fought so far, Lord Jukebox? Wow, this is really interesting. Very. Is this like even icy or are these like crystals? Maybe both. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just straight into the boss. Okay. Oh, Woo. okay. How do we, how do we do this? How do we do this? Um, what in the hell? What is, wow. What dude, what's going on? What's going on here? Um, how do I fight? Get over here. Um, long range. We have to long range this boss. It's the sea. Dude, dude, dude. What is it? How, dude, this is like, how do we even fight this? How do we even fight this? Oh my God. What the hell? What the hell? Um, that, what? What? You died. I died hard. That was, wait, I, Wait, where did what? What is this? I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. Oh, this is a scripted death. Okay, that makes a little more sense. So we're supposed to die there? Okay, I don't feel nearly as bad. <laughs> Apparently, HBO is making a Bloodborne series. Yeah, I heard that it was rumored post, but have they confirmed it? Zephly, Zephly. <laughs> Yo, Post. Welcome in, Post. Happy Monday. How you doing today, buddy? Since I killed Claire, Gascoigne, and Bloodstar Beast first try, I can't say much about them, though I do really like Vicar, even though she was a pain. Yeah, Vicar is... Vicar Amelia is awesome. One of my favorite bosses in Bloodborne. Um, okay. So that was a script to death, so I don't feel nearly as bad. Okay. Um... That was interesting. Seath the Scaleless. That was a cool boss. It was like a dragon. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've fought like any dragons in these games yet. I do know there is a dragon in the DLC, though, that's supposedly insanely difficult. It's locked. Why are we locked? Oh, uh, where to? Seath. That's a pretty cool name, though. Locked. Why is everything locked? That's locked. Maybe are we supposed to warp out? Maybe we're supposed to warp back to Duke's archives? Oh, wait. Why did I do that? Now they just respond. <laughs> um... This is why it's so ridiculous. And I think it's only at plus 10. Someone was saying that you can get your weapons to plus, plus 15, I think. Wow. Okay. What am I missing here? We don't have the key. That's locked. I'm thinking maybe we are supposed to warp out. I'm thinking we're supposed to warp out. Okay. Oh, what? This bonfire is cut off from the others. Cannot warp. Um... Okay. Is there a hidden pathway somewhere? Him. Can I talk to Snakey? Denied. I know. Just try to warp out here. I would like 60 FPS before a TV series, but who am I to complain? Apparently it's an early development, but those could be rumors. I hope not. What? I wonder what they would be doing it for, you know? I think if it was like a prequel... If it was a prequel, that would be really cool. Like kind of talking about how Bloodborne and everything started. I think that'd be pretty dope, in my opinion. Try tongue butthole. Tongue butthole. Tongue butthole? What? Try to tongue a butt. What? 
All right, we got to use our big brains right here. What are we missing? Something's missing. Mm, it's all locked. Maybe the homeward bone? Homeward bone. Maybe we could use... Try attacking Snake Man. I was thinking that, but that would be mean. Watch him drop the key, right? Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I guess our sword can hit through metal steel. I guess that's how... <laughs> that's how it works. Okay. Let me just attack you through the steel cage, I guess. Uh oh. What the hell? What the hell? Hmm. Very interesting. What are those? These were the snakes in uh, Sense Fortress, I think. Oh, he's not even coming for me. He's just running up the stairs. Let's see, this area confused the crap out of me at first. Same. I'm, I'm kind of like, what is going on here? Very interesting. But... Yeah, how do you all feel about a Bloodborne TV series? Like, are you all down for that? Do you think that's a good idea? I mean, I feel like as long as it just adds more lore to the world, I'd be down for it. All right, do these things attack me? I'm so confused right now. I'm guessing maybe. I don't know if they're attacking me, but I'm attacking them. I'm just cruel, I guess. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm not sorry if you're trying to kill me, but it's locked. Okay. Sent you a whisper of the clip. Try tongue. Try tongue. Okay. <laughs> I'll check it after the stream, Lord Jukebox. Try tongue. Maybe, maybe it was like a, one of those orange letterings or something. I could see it being really entertaining, especially the action. Dude, it would be cool. But I feel like the whole thing about these games is that there's not really like a main character in a s typical sense, right? The characters are like the world almost. Should I drop down there? I mean, I like shiny items. Bloodborne Lord and world is already really interesting. Right, right, right. So if they could just, I feel like if they could expand on it, maybe had like Ludwig character, maybe have like a Wilhelm character talk about like how they found a Breedus and the healing church and everything. That could be really dope. That could be really cool, honestly. I feel like if they tried to do a show based off of the game, though, I don't know if I would like that. Ooh, an extra key. Like, if they just tried to essentially do Yarnum Nightmare, like, the game into a TV series, I don't know if I'd like that. But if they did some kind of before prequel story, that could be cool. It, uh yo thank you so much for the lurk as well lord jukebox i appreciate you buddy um if they did a tv series on bloodborne would be fun if it was an old yeah yeah kind of like talking about the events leading up to it right i feel like that'd be really cool well what am i doing okay this just goes to the same place would be neat to see founding of the hunter's workshop and garman and the whole lady maria stuff and all of that that'd be really interesting by the way Happy Monday, sweets. Hope you're having an absolutely magnificent day. Mizuki, welcome in. How you doing today? Happy, happy Monday. Welcome in. We're just fighting... Snaky things? I don't know what these are. But they pick me up and... Give me the biggest of hugs. That was a very big hug. Oh! Y'all hear the music in the background? It's kind of like those, um... Have you, any of you seen those ASMR streams on Twitch? Where they're doing... It's like... I don't know, the bowls? Kind of the, the sounds of the bowls. And a big kiss as well. My lips are reserved for one lady only. Doing okay, how about you? I'm doing super good today. We just... Getting our hugs on. <laughs> getting our hugs and kisses on. I'm doing really good though. Feeling really good. Got some awesome friends. We're taking down bosses today in Dark Souls. Getting some stuff done. 
I'm feeling extra hype. How was your weekend? How was everybody's weekend? Sweets, did you do anything super exciting over the weekend as well? Attack! Ooh, two miracles. I haven't really used the miracles too much in this. Okay, I'm guessing we probably got to fall up there somehow. My lips are reserved for one lady, only me, big vampire lady. <laughs> for, for the wifey. For the wifey. Weekend was all right for me. That's nice. That's nice. Did you play any fun games over the weekend? Or have you played the new Resident Evil at all? We were talking about that a little bit earlier. The new Resident Evil looks pretty intense. Speaking of big vampire lady, right? It's cool if I'm on the phone since it is dead. Nice. What kind of what kind of work do you do if you don't mind me asking, Lord Jukebox? When I was working, I worked in like customer service sales, so it was like always, 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 always busy. Which was good because it made the day go by faster, you know? Which I wasn't like super crazy or super upset about. But sometimes working with customers, it can be tough. Let's see. Am I? I feel like there's nothing down here. Maybe anything over here. Can we use this for anything? Does this do anything? Hmm. Can we like get up on it? I guess we can. Is there any point to getting up on it? I'm so confused what all this is. This is a very interesting area so far. Nothing there. Do we like hit it and anything happens? I don't know. I don't know. I run the online logistics of a multi-corporate faction that sells Fresh products to consumers. Oh, okay. Like, like vegetables and fruits and stuff. Fresh products. Oh, speaking of that, I got to go grocery shopping today. Got to make sure I don't forget. We need some, uh, some veggies, some fruits. Wifey made like delicious orange chicken last night. Mm, broccoli, lemon rice. I'm spoiled. She, she is a good, good cook. I do online orders for a grocery store, but it sounds more professional when I put it the other way. Nice. Hell yeah. Grocery stores are really cool. It'd be interesting to work, man. It, it would be very interesting to work at a grocery store during this whole COVID pandemic and everything. Big shout out and huge love to everybody who you know, does work at any kind of customer facing jobs while through the pandemic. It's been a wild year. Yo, Mountain Border in the house. Happy, happy Monday, Mountain Border. How you doing today, buddy? Welcome in. We just vibing. I don't know what we're doing, actually. We're... I don't know if we should have done that, actually. Because then everything's going to respawn. Do the squids down there respawn? I don't know if the squiddies respawn, actually. Well, that makes me more happy than seeing my sandwich getting ready. Ooh, sandwiches are yummy. We usually go to like Jimmy John's and get, we've been getting these like hot pepper, spicy Italian sandwiches and they're so good. How's your day going though today, Milky? Happy Monday to you as well. Yes. Did you do anything super fun over the weekend at all, Mountain Border? Play any games, stream at all, reading boys and grills. Ooh, something on the grill sounds yummy. I can go for some like, some like teriyaki, some like teriyaki chicken. That sounds yummy. First four months, I was being thanked for my service while working the front lines. Then the same people are now not wearing masks and being a-holes. Isn't that so much the truth? Yeah. That, yeah. I, I will be honest. I feel like a lot of COVID really just made me dislike my job even more. Because just people have been terrible through a lot of... Wow, that was terrible. A lot of customers have made customer service jobs just like unme unbearable almost. Surprised me and visited from California. So we celebrated and took the boat. Oh, boating all out all weekend. Dude, that sounds super fun. Hell yeah. Getting the sun. Yeah, it's summertime. Yes. Has anybody got any fun plans coming up for the summer season? Anybody traveling? We're going to be doing a lot of hiking. I can tell. Oh, go on adventures. Take the pups out to the beach. Go hiking in the forest. It'd be cool to have a boat. Take a boat out. That'd be badass. Is this locked too? It is locked. Okay. 
Ooh, this is like the most Dark Souls way ever. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. That is Dark Souls at its finest right there. I'm going to Cancun. What? Mexico in late July, dude. Hell yeah. I've never been to Cancun, but I've seen pictures of Cancun and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? Blood Man Char in the house raiding the party. Dude, welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, Raiders. Layla. Oh, Boogeyman saying hi. Welcome in, Raiders. Yo, how you doing today, Blood Man Char? Yo, James, welcome in, my friend. How you doing today? For anybody new here, my name is Zephyr. We are playing some Dark Souls. We are in a library in Dark Souls, but we're vibing today. We're having a good day. Um, dude, Blood Man Char, how was your stream? What were you playing? Can we get an epic? Sh oh, thank you so much, Zach. Playing, playing no game? Playing and no game. Maybe that's... <laughs> That's exactly, exactly. That's how Blood Man Char enters the chat. Dude, Blood Man Char, thank you so much for the epic, epic raid, my friend. I think maybe it's stream elements or Twitch being funky, but what were you playing, Blood Man Char? Um, I had to do that for the raid. That is the perfect way to bring in the raid. Yes, yes, Mountain Border. Those who remain. Those who remain. I don't think I've ever heard, uh, played that game before. What's it about? But welcome in as well, James. Welcome in, Madam. Yo, hope you guys are doing absolutely stellar today. Definitely big, big, big love for you. Um, seriously, super appreciate the raid. I I hope you are just doing absolutely stellar. Yeah, Twitch has been weird for me today. Twitch is being Twitch. Twitch is Twitch is Twitch. Yo, Wolfie, thank you so much for the host. Welcome in. Happy Monday. What were you playing, Blood Manch? Oh, those who remain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the one with the I think it has the skull on the cover, right? What's it about? Those who remain, I, I know I've heard of it before. Oh, did I actually, I think we literally, when we got raided, I think we might've missed our blood or our souls. Where were our souls? Maybe we didn't miss our souls, but hope you were just doing absolutely stellar. I greatly appreciate it. Sorry if I'm just like repeating that for a second. I'm, I'm punching booty right here. Snake booty. How's Dark Souls treating you? It's it's going actually really good today. We've taken down two bosses. One of them we did first try. We're in some new areas. It's been going good. Hell yeah. Well, well, well. If it isn't the sexiest man on Twitch, Deli Bakery, dude. Deli in the house. How you doing today, buddy? You the sexiest man. We know that's true. Dude, as we were just talking about delicious food, Y'all do not know Deli Bakery's YouTube is like the best thing in the entire existence of the world. Mm. Chef, kiss for the chef. Ooh, scary stuff. Those who remain. Has anybody else here ever played those who re those who remain? A spooky game. A spooky game. Nice, nice. Is anybody playing Resident Evil 8 over the weekend? I know that was the uh, the hot item, right? Nope, you are. Dude, Deli, how's your Monday going? How was your weekend, buddy? Um, I'm kind of, I'm thinking, what am I missing here? Doesn't want us to drop over there. We can't make that drop. What am I missing? What am I missing? Um, doors locked. Nothing over here. What are we missing? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm so confused. Maybe we got to go back down. Maybe we're missing something. Yo, Blood Man Char, have you ever, um, have you ever played any of the Dark Souls games before? Or anybody that came in with the Blo Blood Man Char raid? If any of you have ever played any of the Dark Souls games before? Check the very bottom. Okay, we might be missing a key. We might be missing a key, possibly. Those who remain. I'm going to take a look at that game. I feel like I have seen it. I feel like I've seen it at like Best Buy before. Hmm. I like scary games though. I was watching a little bit of the uh of Resident Evil 8. A couple of my friends stream Resident Evil 8 over the weekend, and it looks it looks ridiculously intense. I wonder if there's a VR version of it. We were talking earlier about Resident Evil 7 for VR. No, but I want to try which one should I start on? Oh, a hundred percent I would recommend Bloodborne. Never played Dark Souls, but I want I play Dark Stalkers. I don't know if I've ever heard of Dark Stalkers. Which one's that one about, Matt? 
if you've never played any of the souls games i think bloodborne is not only the best one i've played so far but one of the best games ever i've played it is a little bit different compared to the regular souls games because it's a little bit faster but a hundred percent a hundred percent if you want to play one I, I would go for bloodborne first and every, every anybody else if you all got any opinions on which Soulsborne game to start with definitely throw them out in chat what do you think is the best one to start with oh spend time with the wifey yes for mother's day happy belated to any mothers or future mothers and today been in meetings and more meetings as far as re8 it's a redemption for me and i'm not looking forward to it at all you got to turn the lights off deli bakery got to turn the lights off put the headphones on get the screams up it looks intense dark Soccer's was my favorite 1v1 game i feel like i've never heard of it plus uh had to avoid people yeah don't want any of the spoilers let's see don't do re7 on vr it's scary as crap i've seen my my buddy money benjamin play it on vr and it looked well, like watch the trailer he made about it um like a highlight reel of it on vr and it looks insane it looks really intense i think we're missing we might be missing a key at the bottom so let's wow they doing a whole uh doing a whole little ritual in there what is this a ladder to it started out as an arcade game then wasn't then came to playstation oh capcom makes it 90s game for sure dude i love me some 90s games what's your favorite 90s game do you have a particular favorite one matt and there's so many 90s was like such such a golden era for games i don't know I, I think there's still amazing games being made i'm not one of those like new games aren't as old as old games kind of thing but there were some bangers in the 90s i mean the even the systems like the n64 the super nintendo the super about to die by snake people come on come on oh dude dude holy crap they're trying to skewer us oh no we were so close at least we know this is where we go now. Then went to sorry. Then went to sorry. Um. Oh, oh, then went to PlayStation. Gotcha. 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 I never had any of the Nintendo consoles growing up. My grandmother had a Super Nintendo. I spent a lot of time playing. It's like Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. Those are some good memories I have. Like playing Super Mario World with her. Um, but I always had a PlayStation. I was always like a PlayStation kid growing up. Damn, they just... Yeah, we just got swarmed right there for real. So play Yu-Gi-Oh games on my DS sometimes. Dude, Yu-Gi-Oh never gets old. I grew up like with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and everything. And I loved Yu-Gi-Oh. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I think there's like games you can still... You can play like yu-gi-oh card online with people right yo mario kart goldeneye dark starkers marvel versus capcom resident evil 2 yeah re2 what do you think of the remake of re2 at all matt i was a playstation boy it's not a bad thing because there were some amazing games but like i definitely feel like i missed out on a lot everybody over here talking about like ocarina of time and goldeneye and stuff and i'm like i never played any of those really Although I did play Ocarina of Time, I think for the first time a few years ago. And even as somebody that like never grew up on it or played it growing up, it, it's still an, a great game. There's a lot of good mechanics in it. I feel like it definitely feels a little dated in some things, but I get why everyone loves it. It's a great game. Oh my God. I'm, don't kill me again. These things are insane. Come on. Dude. Y'all snakies are crazy. Okay. One left. Uno mas. Come on. Oh, God, dude. These snakes are insane. Stop trying to kill me. Oh, my God. Ah. Ridiculous. Oh, wish I had a GameCube growing up. Yeah. What were some good games on the GameCube? Here we go. The Tower Giant Door Key. Archive Tower. That's a mouthful. Archive Tower Giant Door Key that one exactly <laughs> haven't played it i don't even know there was a remake oh of re2 yeah yeah 
Yo, him, thank you so much for the epic follow. Welcome in. Hope you are having an absolutely outstanding day. Hands down, my favorite GameCube game is still Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Third person Pokemon with overworld sprites. Yes, please. Lord Jukebox. Tell me, are you excited for... Are you excited for the new Pokemon open world game? What does that do? What is it doing? Playing music? I'm guessing it's like playing music. Uh-oh. Oh no, don't die. Oh, we died. Oh, that was funny. At least we got the key though. Makes those blue things. Oh, makes those blue things stop if you turn it off. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, oh, you are totally, totally fine, Heather. You are totally fine, my friend. Thank you so much for the lurk, though. Thank you so much for being here. Um, how's Dark Souls going? It's been going really good. We've taken out two bosses. I have a feeling we're about to go for a third one. Um, but how's work been going? Been a little bit crazy today. Um, and annoys the squids. Oh, it makes them hostile. Gotcha. It annoys the squids, makes them hostile. So, sound bad. <laughs> No, you are all good. I appreciate it. Even if y'all pop in for a second or stay the entirety of the stream or everything in between, I appreciate the hell out of you, my friends. You all are awesome. And don't ever forget it. Want to go home? Me too. Wait, I am home. <laughs> I want to be not shot by a million arrows. Yo, CC. Happy Monday, CC. How you doing today? As long as I get to go home too, we're all going home. We're all going home together. Wait, that sounded bad. Never mind. You know what I mean? We all friends here. <laughs> uh, dude, really good. Nice. Nice. Oh, exhausted. How's work been going today, CC? Are you working today? We're just taking down crystal demons all in a good day's work. Oh, him. Thank you so much for the bitty love, my friend. I super appreciate it. Welcome in. How are you doing today? You having a pretty good Monday so far? I'm guessing, are you a pretty big Dark Souls fan? I worked one of my jobs this morning and I'm off from the other one today. Hell yeah. What do you got planned for the rest of the day, CC? You just hanging out, kind of vibing, kind of chilling. Shields up always. Oh, maybe they'll come to me. Oh God, right up there. Really? That is a spot. Okay. Right here. Uh, smack down. Double smack down. Be greedy. Yes. Ah, don't get hit. Don't get hit. This is like a whole castle we're in or something. Yes. Ooh, what's one's your favorite Dark Souls game? Tim, do you have a particular favorite? Probably relaxing, getting my room clean, playing Animal Crossing. Yes. <sighs> Wifey hasn't touched Animal Crossing in a minute. I wonder how her poor villagers are. Uh, her poor villagers are probably crying. How are the archives going? It's it's going. I feel like we're getting to some new places. Exploring. It's been going. It's been going. How's your day coming along, Dark Phoenix? It's probably closer to... Uh, probably closer to like mid-afternoon for you right now, right? Is work over yet for you, Dark Phoenix? Email the Dean of Admissions for my college. I'm hopefully going back this fall. Oh, hell yeah. When I get off academic probation. Dark Souls 2. Ooh, nice. Dark Souls 2. Why Why Dark Souls 2 out of curiosity, him? I always love talking to people about Dark Souls 2. What does this do? Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? With a library you're about to learn today. Yeah, we got... I got my ass whooped by Seath a moment ago, but I guess you're supposed to die on that fight is what Phoenix was saying. Almost 6 p.m. Almost. Almost. It's 6 p.m. when you get off work. It would be... It would be so nice to have a, a Monday through Friday kind of... I don't know. As somebody that's worked retail my whole life, like having a set schedule off would be nice. See, there's a mandatory death first encounter. Gotcha, Draco. Gotcha. I want. I wonder how the non-mandatory death is going to come along because those crystal attacks were pretty ridiculous. 
Yo, shield for the win. Swipe, swipe. Uh, a little bit different from the third and first, plus a little bit of challenge that I like. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard you get invaded a lot in Dark Souls 2, right? Sometimes a little bit later, usually, wow, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m.? That is a long day, Dark Phoenix. That is a long one. Oh, can we, like, roll off right here? Don't die. Don't die. Okay. Smackdown. Give me a Smackdown. Yes. Woo. Yes. Work in those long hours. Yeah. Getting the money though, right? Working long hours, getting some cheddar. Cheddar. I like cheddar. Cheddar's good cheese. That's why I never see Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Hard work, but I mean like hard work hopefully pays off. At least some good money. These are some good things, right? Definitely. Have you played Bloodborne at all, him? Or uh, Sekiro? Oh, we just got some sorcery magic. Cool, cool. I'm really excited for Elden Ring. I'm excited to see what George R. R. Martin can kind of spruce into the world, you know? I really, really think George R. R. Martin is a great, great storyteller. Now, the, uh, the people who uh, handle his... His books and turn them into TV shows, though. That's a different story. Yeah, we've been down here. Yeah, okay. We're going the right way. What's your favorite food? Favorite food? That is a tough question. Favorite food. There's so many. There's so many good ones. Pizza. I'm a sucker for pizza. Mmm. I mean, I do like me some good cheeseburgers. Yeah. Yeah. I do like some good cheeseburgers. I don't know. I'd probably say if I if I was like stuck on an island and had to only pick one food for the rest of my life kind of thing. I mean, pizza's good. Pizza's real good. I like pizza. That's easy for me, pizza. <laughs> I mean, it's just so... It's cliche sometimes, but it is so good, right? I feel like I could have pizza at any time. What about you, him? What about you? What about everybody? What are all of our opinions on pizza? Or all of our opinions on favorite food. A streamer who doesn't like pizza is a rare sight. Indeed. You know, actually for... So, Matt. So, I have this emote of uh, Carbuncle from Final Fantasy. It's like a munch emote. It's... So, Carbuncle's like eating popcorn. I was actually like debating if I should have it be pizza or if I should have it be like popcorn. I settled on popcorn. I mean, I like popcorn. I think it's pretty cute. But eating pizza would have been pretty pretty cute as well. No pineapple, fight me. Ooh, pineapple is love. Pineapple on pizza is just... Mm, it's so good. Avocado salad with sea salt. Yo, that sounds pretty good. Oh, that did not seem very good. Yeah, pizza is just kind of... It's, it's, it's so... I mean, it is kind of cliche in a sense, but it's just so good. Pineapple pizza slaps. The amount of the amount of food talk that we have in here is just so good. We talk a lot about food. And that's not a bad thing. Food's good. I like food. I like food in my belly. See, and, and I know some people aren't crazy about pineapple on pizza. But it's the sweet and the savory, right? It messes with the texture of the pizza. Yeah. It's okay. If we're if we're no if you're not a fan of pineapple pizza, we can still be friends. It's okay. I'm kind of texture sensitive. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I kind of get that. You know, you know what's something really interesting, Killer Draco. So wifey loves ice cream, but if ice cream starts to melt, then she doesn't like it for the texture. Whoa, what is he doing there? Like the texture of melted ice cream, she's not really crazy about. She's pretty interesting. I like pizza with no toppings. Cheese only. Not even like pepperoni or nothing, Matt. Just cheese. Um, baked pepperoni. Oh, yeah. With feta cheese. Mmm. So good. Yo, Onyx Wings. Thank you so much for the epic follow, my friend. Welcome in. Hope you are having a fabulous, outstanding Monday. We're just talking about pizza. Always big love for pizza. 
Oh, that's when it's the best. Nothing on pizza. Whoa. That could have been way worse. Um, making me hungry. Pizza is bae. Pizza is bae. Pizza is just like, it's such, it's, it's just good go-to food. You're right. You're like, I don't know what I want for food. Why not pizza? Why not pizza? My fave is nothing. Ooh, what, what about like cheese pizza? Ooh, we got a bonfire. Yes. What about like cheese pizza? That's like multiple cheeses, like feta cheese, like four cheese pizza or like ooh, ricotta. Have you ever had, has anybody ever had like ricotta pizza? It's too much ricotta is definitely a thing, but like, just like a little bit of ricotta is mm, so good. It's so good. <laughs> ricotta is that thing that like not enough of it. You don't really get it too much of it's bad but if you get the right amount of ricotta it's like the best thing in the world um i mean melted ice cream but cheese pizza is fine too barbecue yo barbecue pizza is definitely banging hell yeah cheat chicken alfredo yeah chicken alfredo the white sauce pizzas are probably my favorite him want to hear a funny story that happened to me today i am ready matt what's the funny story good luck <laughs> Can we like hop over the edge here? I like funny stories. Yo, look at that sword. That kind of looks like the, the Ludwig, the holy, what is it? The holy sword from Bloodborne? Holy Moonlight, I think. Um, I had chili cheese, not chili cheese, not so pizza. Moonlight gray. It, it wait, it is the exact same one that Ludwig used? Like the holy the holy blade? What? That's pretty cool. Maybe I mean that that could be like that could be a tie into Dark Souls and Bloodborne universe. I've heard a couple people mention that the worlds might be interconnected somehow. They might be like totally different. It would be cool if like Bloodborne and Dark Souls could tie in with each other somehow. I don't know how, but like if they could tie in. That would be interesting. Not the exact same one lore wise, but the Moonlight Sword are there in every Souls game, even in Demon Souls. Really? Really? Interesting. I wonder if it's a good weapon in this one, because it was like a really good weapon in Bloodborne. I mean, I guess the thing though is like, hmm. I feel like with a lot of these games, most of the weapons are pretty good. And it's just more about like how you used to learn them or how you learn them. That kind of determines like how good or not they are. You know, is that, if that makes sense, it's a magic weapon in this, I believe. I feel like I don't really have any magic weapons. Hmm. Oh, wow. Although I'm getting magic shot at me everywhere. You don't need it. You and the Zwei, me and the Zwei, we're just, we're destined to be together. Killer Draco. I mean, I mean, Claymore was really good in Demon Souls, but Zwei is just ridiculous. This thing smacks. What's a weird food combination that tastes good? Hmm. A weird food combination that tastes good. I mean, I don't mind like ranch and pizza. But like very, very little ranch, I'd say. Um, so why is broken AF? <laughs> I decided to make a voice recording for a chat command for a Twitch friend. After I sent him, I went to Discord to find people to lurk. I happened to find a person in this guy's Discord who was streaming. So I went to it. Apparently they played Fortnite together and my friend checked the recording and then sent it to him. Everyone there started laughing. <laughs> That's what I aimed for. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Dude, doing like voice commands and stuff. I haven't experimented with that too much, but that, that seems like that'd be a lot of fun to do. Whatever gets people laughing. Like if you can make people laugh, that is just, that's a plus right there. Ranch with pizza is great. Claymore has been my weapon of choice throughout my first playthrough of Dark Souls. So I was going to do Claymore. Forge, wow. Fortune was, was trying to nudge me to do Claymore. The only thing though, is I did the Claymore for Demon Souls. So I kind of want like a different weapon each playthrough, like each game, you know? So I think when I play Dark Souls 2, I think when I play Dark Souls 2, I'm going to go for more of a dex build. 
something a little bit faster something a little bit more like pretty much the opposite of huge heavy slow sword so let's see i also had barbecue pulled pork pizza as well that was barbecue pulled pork pizza that sounds kind of ridiculously good I dip my fries and the fries and Wendy's frosty. I would say if somebody's never tried that before, that probably sounds weird, but it's also one of those like, it's really good. Voice command Dark Souls. How would that work? Forward, 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 right, 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 forward, 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 forward. Maybe we got to use this again. Let's try this. I can understand fries with ice cream, but chips with a slushy? Chips with a slushy. I don't know if I've ever tried like chips with a slushy. Um, Zwei hits harder than Claymore and has the cheese of slamming enemies to the ground, but Claymore is faster than Zwei and more stamina efficient. It was the perfect mix. Yeah, speed and power for me still has big numbers without being too slow. Yeah, getting used to the Zwei's slowness has definitely been a challenge, but I feel like kind of once you get the timing of it, it's a banger. It's a beast of a sword. Roll, roll, roll. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I remember it having onions and mushrooms as well. I used to hate onions and mushrooms and all that stuff. And I don't know, but just like the older I get, the more that stuff kind of sounds amazing. Like why feel be making dinner and just like cutting up like peppers and I'll just go straight for, for the peppers raw, not even cooked or sauteed or anything. And I'm just, I'm a sucker for vegetables now as I've gotten older. Are we supposed to like hit these or hmm. where to now? So hungry now. Sorry, post. We talk about food so much. It's not a bad thing, but we, we, we like food, food. Good food. Real good. Good boy. Hmm. I just had popcorn, ch popcorn, chicken, popcorn, chicken. I have don't know if I've ever had that. That sounds interesting. I'm guessing it was a pretty good DJ. Ooh, maybe does this go somewhere interesting? I have like no idea where I'm rolling. This is where we just came from. Maybe here. This feels like a maze. You know what this kind of feels like is the hospital and Bloodborne. Like in the DLC area, I just always felt like I had no idea where I was going. Twinkling tight night, but new chests, I'm assuming means new area. Let's see. It was good with Chick-fil-A sauce to dip them in. Okay, DJ. Okay. I might, maybe I'll nudge wifey. We should get Chick-fil-A after the stream. What do y'all think? Should we get Chick-fil-A for lunch? Chick-fil-A is ridiculously good. Chick-fil-A is the company like I have very, 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 very strong reason or strong feelings about the company's policies and some things, but damn it. Their fries are so good. It's not even funny. The Mac and cheese dude. everybody's been talking about the Mac and cheese at Chick-fil-A. Like it's supposed to be bomb. Has, has anybody here had the Mac and cheese at Chick-fil-A? Why have you said she really wants to try it? about chick-fil-a sauce at the gro oh they sell chick-fil-a sauce oh popcorn chicken is like fried chicken bits smaller than nuggets interesting so it's like mini nuggets it is the best thing in the entire world oh their waffle fries it's stupid how good their waffle fries are I'm like why are your waffle fries like so damn delicious worth it let's see yo moves happy monday moves I won't eat at Chick-fil-A even if their food is good. Yeah. And I totally, uh, totally understand that. Like, uh, why do companies gotta be assholes? Why do people gotta be assholes? Why do people gotta care who other people love? You know, I've never understood that. Like that truly just doesn't make any sense to me. Like people legitimately care who other people love. Like I just, that I, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Um, the mac and cheese at Chick-fil-A is great. We're going to convince wifey. She's going to, I want to try that TikTok chicken nugs, mac and cheese fry. Wait, chicken nuggets, mac and cheese fries, like, like all mixed together. That sounds really interesting. 
Hmm. Yeah, mac and cheese pizza is amazing. <laughs> Have we ever had mac and cheese pizza? I don't know if I've ever had mac and cheese pizza. Like jealous people as well. Why be jealous about something? Do something about it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And just let people love who they want to love. You know, if it's not if not affecting your life, like my thought has always been like, if you are a consenting adult and they are not affecting your life in any way, just let it be. Just let it be, you know? People, people are weird. Have you ever had a sauce of fries? Perfect drunk. Actually, I think we have post. I think, yo, here is kebab. Oh my God, wifey. We, I was craving that the other day, like some like shish kebabs or something like that. We haven't had those in so long. Wife used to like barbecue them and mm, they were so good. <laughs> Oh my God. Yo, Moose, how was your weekend though? Did you do anything super excited? Um, super exciting over the weekend? Asada fries are so good. Yeah, we had, what were they? They were like, wifey, what were those fries that we used to get that were like ridiculously good? They had like, was it feta? Up? No, it was, what was the cheese on them that were so good? Oh, queso fresco. They had like queso fresco on them. Yo, queso fresco is ridiculous. Mm, queso fresco is so good. I have no idea what I'm looking for here. I I feel like this is a maze of... I have no idea where I'm going. Did someone just throw a book at me? I legitimately think somebody just threw a book at me. Is there an enemy in this game that throws books at people? It's like the librarian who's like, I've told you how many times to shut up. I'm just going to throw this book at the wall. <laughs> that was the li floating book. <laughs> Maybe. Must be a, a hot read. Three or four cheese meat lasagna with Parmesan cheese. Oh my God. Y'all get me so damn hungry. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, what is up here? Nothing. I have a place by me that makes them so good. I did it. What did you do? Oh, you got the bonfire? I mean, I guess. Are we supposed to like jump over the bonfire? Like, are we supposed to... Maybe we're supposed to jump down here. Let's try that. As we just respawned everything. I think we can make this. Let's jump. Maybe not. Okay, maybe we're not supposed to jump here. Had it last night. Lasagna is fab. Lasagna is so good. I haven't had, we haven't had it in a while, but lasagna is just delicious. All right. I don't think we jump off the edge there. Maybe that doesn't work. So what are we missing? What are we missing here? You're not Mario. There's no jumping over small objects in this game. Just, you just got to do parkour to get to the bed of chaos fight, right? The way forward is close. Maybe it's an invisible wall. Maybe it's an invisible wall. Hmm. Dude, Killer Draco. Please tell me, did you see the... Did you see the Elon Musk Wario SNL skit? Has anybody seen that? Wifey and I watched it last night. And it was kind of ridiculous and amazing. And so absurd. And... I, I, I don't even know. It smells like... A lot of deodorant. <laughs> I, I smell like a ton of deodorant out of nowhere. Maybe it's Layla. Maybe Layla ate the deodorant. Should be a way down to the forest. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We're trying to find it. Um, I didn't see it, but I didn't care. I did see it, but I didn't care for it. I don't care for Elon Musk as a person. So there's that too. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I heard like when he was on SNL, like the Dogecoin price was like dropping, which was interesting. Oh, holy crap. We didn't die. Oh, he's still alive. We could still die. No, stay dead. Ah, okay. Hi, wifey. Oh, you took a shower. Gotcha. That's probably a shower smell. Well, that's it. 32. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Welcome in. 
Hope you are having an absolutely magnificent Monday. Hello, fellow bearded man. How are you? I am doing beardly rific today. <laughs> I'm doing really good today. Um, we just played some Dark Souls, trying to find our way down to the forest here, which is a lot easier said than done. Uh, are you a pretty big Dark Souls fan? Let's see, you need a chip to get Chick fil A for lunch. Oh, no! Oh, I forgot all the damn enemies respawned. That's the bummer with using the bonfires. Everything respawns. Ah, hell yeah, man. Ooh, what's your favorite Soulsborne game? Veteran here? Dude, hell yeah. Welcome in, my friend. Got mad love for all the Soulsborne friends here. I, I think we might end up uh, grabbing Chick-fil-A for lunch. So we got to find a way to this forest down here. Is there stairs down somewhere? Hmm. Don't be giving him ideas, DJ. Wifey might. She might nudge me to go get some of the, uh, I don't know. I wonder if she'll want to try the mac and cheese. What do you think, wifey? Do you want to try the mac and cheese today? I don't know. Maybe we should go to Popeye's. I heard Popeye's chicken sandwiches are pretty beastly. Demon Souls on PS5 is just the most polished, but the absolute best is the one you're playing. Dark Souls 1 has been fun. I'm really not going to lie. There's been a couple bosses I've been like, I don't know. Demon Souls, I felt like there was more bosses were were kind of poopy. And there was a couple that were really amazing. But DS1, I feel like has a lot more like really good bosses. Damn, love Doom Eternal. But then I saw Crash. Sorry. You can do both. You can do both, Post. Oh man, we're going to have, we're going to have... Just, I'm going to be streaming a lot this month. I'm so confused. Why are the damn stairs down? We'll figure it out. I'm down. Downtown. Let's see, I will say you've walked by like five times. Oh my God, Captain Jazz. Okay, so it is here. I'm not crazy. Captain Jazz, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? All right, I'm going to look like extra hard. Is it this white book? No. We walked past it like five times. It's got to be right here then. Best boss is DS3. Best interconnected world, DS1. Best hub world and music, DS2. I will say I, I do like... I feel like in some parts, there's a lot more music than there was in the beginning of the game. But yeah, a lot of people really like Dark Souls 3 bosses. Favorite any type of Souls boss? Name three. Favorite Souls bosses? When we get through these games, I'm definitely going to have to do a tier maker of like best bosses in the game. Best bosses so far in Dark Souls 1. Definitely Ornstein and Smau. 100%. That's probably been my favorite. Super difficult, but super fun. Who else? Who else? Mm. Who else? Quaylog was pretty awesome. She was a good fight. I liked her a lot. Who else? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Okay. Captain Jazz. I'm, I'm, I think I might be crazy. I, I, what am I missing? <laughs> Ornstein and Smile, Nameless King, Artorias. Can't say Bloodborne has some amazing mu Oh, yeah. Hunter's Dream, The Moonlit Melody. Oh, Lady Maria's theme. Papa G's theme. Gotta climb the stairs to find it. Okay. Okay. It's up here somewhere. Mm. Ornstein, I do like Ornstein and Smau took me like 50 tries. But after after I defeated Ornstein and Smau, immediately I'm like, I wish I could fight them again. It would be cool. So here's one thing I've always wanted in the, these games since I've been playing them. Since the bosses are the best part, it'd be cool if after you defeat a boss, you could like re-challenge them and re-fight him again, you know? Like if there was just like a boss arena, I don't know, maybe at like a hub world or or like, I don't know. But if we could just like refight the bosses as many times as I want. So good. Yo, second phase Ludwig is a banger. It so is. I actually think first phase Ludwig is really difficult, but I think sec like once you get Ludwig to second phase, I don't think the second phase is that difficult at all. In my opinion. I think the Holy Moonlight version of Ludwig is far easier than the, the chaos craziness first phase of Ludwig. Got to go around the and unlock the shortcut. Um, Gascoigne. Yo, the Gascoigne theme is so good. 
then you will love Sekiro. They added a boss rush mode to it. You can fight them as much as you want. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. All right, Captain. Okay, y'all, I think I might be losing my mind. Where do we go? I will, I'll ask for at least a, a hot or cold tip. Are we kind of going in the way to get to the forest? Wifey's like, don't spoil it. Oh, sorry. I can't hear you. Oh, Sif, easy boss. The doggo with the mouth sword. Zach was giving me so much crap about that one. Rotating stairs by the bonfire. Rotating stairs by the... There was rotating stairs by the bonfire? I don't remember, though. I think we're at the very beginning, right? We are at the very beginning. Okay. Um then here's what we'll do actually wait let's not die if we die we lose our souls let's not die that's all you're getting for help okay rotating stairs by the bonfire oh well i guess we're going back to the bonfire regardless yeah the sif boss was pretty cool the sword in the mouth doggo was like really 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 cute snipe ammo i know where are these damn rotating stairs where rotating stairs where They're not out here, right? Look up! I am looking up! Oh. You mean the ones that move? Okay. Okay. What if a mimic could mimic a bonfire as a new enemy? That would be so mean. Especially if, like, you had to defeat the mimic to get the real bonfire. That would be so mean. Especially after you come through, like, a whole area and then you're like, got no estus flasks left you're right about to die and then psych it's a mimic that would be so mean uh-oh uh-oh shield up oh boy rotating stairs rotating stairs you got to get to the rotating stairs L are we going the right way there's so much chaos going on here Come on, Zeph, you've seen Harry Potter. I have seen Harry Potter. I've never been like the biggest Harry Potter fan. I know some people are like super wild for it. I read the books and then I've seen all of them a couple times, but Harry Potter's fun. Do we got any like mega Harry Potter fans in chat? Let's see. I've always said that would be cool if you could place your own bonfire and like, but cost 50k souls for the one use item for, oh, that would be cool. There was actually something like that in Final Fantasy VII Lord Jukebox. At the very end of the game, you get this item called a save crystal. And it's essentially like a save point you can place anywhere within the, the final area. It'd be cool if there was something like that in these games. Like, like a bonfire, you know? Like a one time you can place this bonfire anywhere item. That'd be pretty dope. Yes, guilty please films. Hold on. Oh, the Harry Potter ones? They're your kind of guilty, guilty pleasure films. What's your favorite one? Do you have a favorite one, Dark Phoenix? I really liked, I don't know. I feel like I really liked the fourth one, the fifth one. I like the darker ones. I mean, I guess all of them past two is pretty dark. I guess they're all pretty dark in their own way. All right. I don't see any rotating stairs this way. I don't see any rotating stairs that way. So let's go back this way. Sorry, y'all. This is taking me a moment. My brain is not connecting these stair dots. Here we go. Okay. I think we're kind of maybe going the right way, but we're right about to die. So we'll see if we can do this without dying. I doubt it. What? Took on my headphones so I don't didn't have Final Fantasy VII spoilers. And it's my game. Oh, I'm sorry, Lord Jukebox. Damn it. Zeph in his big ass mouth. I I'm terrible. I apologize. Oh, that felt terrible. All right, rotating stairs. What does this mean? Rotating stairs. Rotating stairs. Rotating stairs. I miss Dead Space. It'd be cool if they made a remake or continue it. Dead Space. Did they only make one Dead Space? Okay. Okay, we got to figure out these rotating stairs. All the way up there. We'll get it. We'll get it. 
They made three of them. I've never played any of the Dead Spaces before. I think I watched my buddy Poppy Fubar play a little bit of them. There should be a switch at the midpoint that you can like rotate them. Yeah, I, I got the how you can like get the switch to move them. I guess it's just kind of getting back to them. Yeah, let's go. Okay, this way. It's also not die though. Um, oh, there was three dead spaces. I'd be down to try them one day. Are they scary? Are the dead space games scary? Or are they more like science fiction kind of like Halo-y games? Are they like not similar at all to Halo? I feel like the little bit I've seen reminds me of Halo. They're terrifying. Wow, terrifying? Very scary. Interesting. Are they kind of in like, are they like a science fiction version of like Resident Evil kind of? Like same kind of vibe? Dude, he is just having a party over there. I need that energy. I need whatever he's having. Okay. Stop shooting me with bow and arrows. Let's see. I won't even play them and I love Horn getting spooked. Really? They're that intense? Oh, stop trying to kill me and kill me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, stop. Stop trying to kill me. Stop trying to kill me. Okay. Okay. Um, Dead Space 1 was really good in the PS3 days. All right. I am rotating the stairs. Best horror jump scare and slow tempo and a little bit of a fast paced game. Really? That sounds pretty tempting, honestly. It definitely sounds like from what you're saying, like Resident Evil meets a science fiction game. What do you, what do you think? That's pretty accurate. Or are they kind of nothing alike? Um. Ow. All right. I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to look around. What am I missing? Pillage body, a longbow. I'll take it. Switch. Switch. Is that a. No, we already opened that chest. Hmm. 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 Never played it, but for what I've seen, that's sort of accurate, a bit more fast paced than Resident Evil. I am about to fast paste this enemy into the ground. Oh, stay down and stop shooting me with your freaking magic bullets. Oh, and we're out of Saniti. Okay. Um, think, 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 think. Oh God, this one too. Ah, stop trying to kill me. Okay. He is learning. I'm so proud. Trying. I'm trying so hard. Okay. This is like right where we came in. So let's. Mm, that looks interesting over there. That kind of looks like somewhere we maybe haven't been. So let's try going over there. Huzzah! One. One. It takes. It's taken me a century, but we're getting it. We're getting it. All right. I, I think, have we been over this way? I don't know if we have been over this way. Oh, I don't think we have been over this way. Okay. Okay. Oi, yes. Yo, Andre the Viking. Welcome in, dude. How you doing today? Happy Monday, Andre. Welcome in, legend. What does this do? What? What was that? like open something did it open something did it open a shortcut <gasps> oh it opened a shortcut yes oh my god Huzzah. shortcuts and bonfires see that's why these games are so much fun it's because when you get a shortcut when you get a bonfire when you take down a boss you just get that sense of accomplishment i feel like that's why these games are so popular you know it's because they beat your face in and they're frustrating but there's like no better sense of when you finally take down that boss that's killed you 20 times or yeah, there's just so much hoorah, so much hoorah. Good, good. Started getting my new tattoo today, dude. What kind of tattoo you getting, Andre? I feel like you might've mentioned it before. Yo, tattoo hype and coming. I haven't, I don't have a single tattoo. Nordic inspired sleeve, dude. That sounds pretty badass. 
I wonder if, uh, maybe I could nudge wifey and be like, we should go get matching tattoos. Six eyed helm of the channelers. Wow. That looks pretty cool. Let's check out our new, new set. No, I went in with Dark Souls 2 with an open mind despite its criticism and 30 plus hours in. I kind of hate this game. What don't, what are you not liking about DS2 Onyx? Covering the right arm, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Is it pretty, are, is the whole tattoo sleeve pretty expensive? I get the same vibe from RE8. You have to collect four of something to get to the final boss. Breath of the Wild was kind of like that as well, Dark Phoenix. Um, Dark Souls has been like that. Like you got to fight four things and then the final boss unlocks. I wonder if that's just pretty common in uh in video games now, you know? Is this a cool armor set? Helm of the Channeler Sorcerers that serve Seath the Scaleless. The six eyes arranged in two vertical columns compensate for Seath's lack of... Oh, can Seath not see? The heaviest of protective gear for sorcerers and imbued with magic. I wonder if this has good magic defense. Uh, 22. I mean, it looks like it has okay magic defense sure why not this is called they don't call it fashion souls for a reason right they don't call it fashion souls for a reason yo we looking pretty wow that is wow six eyes now that's interesting to see my opinion dark souls 2 just throws enemies to artificially inflate the difficulty yeah yeah there's a lot of bosses too in dark souls 2 right there's like 40 and the bosses, the enemies and bosses are much less creative in terms of move sets. They just increase the number of them instead. Ooh, kind of like um, like the gargoyle demons, where there's just one and then two. Yeah, too much filler in DS2, but it's still a fun game in my opinion. Filler in games is a real thing. Like I, I feel like people, a lot of people seem to agree that most people would rather just have a really good shorter game than a filler medium sized game. You know. Filler in games kind of annoys me. Arch, archive, tower, giant cell key. Man, that is a mouthful to say. Amazing key ahead. Really? What's so amazing about it? Archive, tower, giant, door key? Prison key? Um, The key's design resembles not the key of a prison. And indeed, the tower was once no prison at all, but a trove of precious tomes? Tombs? Tomes? Interesting. Very interesting. Does this do anything? Smelter Demon is such a pain in the ass right now. It's hard to believe DS2 and Bloodborne came out around the same time. Yeah, DS2 was made by the B team from what I hear, right? Kind of like the B team of FromSoft made DS2. The A team was working on Bloodborne. Yeah, those are just chests. Okay. I was worried about the filler and remake because they had to stretch five to 10 Midgar from OG. They did well with it. I agree. I think they did a really good job with remake. I still think there was some fillers. A lot of the side quest stuff, in my opinion, in Final Fantasy VII remake, I felt like a lot of the side quest stuff was very, very fillery. Like there wasn't very many side quests I really enjoyed, but the main story of the main story of remake, I think they did a great job kind of adding stuff to it, adding into the story. But I mean, Cloud running around what sector seven trying to find cats. I'm like, what? What? Check out that chest. I, I got both of the chests, Captain Jazz. There is a key in this one. Someone says amazing key ahead. Imminent fleeing that a Miyazaki had little to new part in DS2. Why didn't they just wait? Why didn't they just be like, let's do Bloodborne now and we'll do Dark Souls 2 after? Like, why did they rush it? Prism Stone. Including all DLCs for this DS, Dark Souls 1, 22 bosses, Dark Souls 3, 19 bosses, Dark Souls 2, 32 bosses. I swear Fortune was saying there's like 41 bosses in Dark Souls 2. Money probably. All about that. They want as much money as they can get, right? Let's see. I love DS2 simply because out of all three games, two was the best to play with friends. Need head. Well, I... Moving on. If you play trails, get used to cat quests, fetch quests, need to find my wallet quest. It was like that in Witcher 3 for the little bit that I played. Oh, the forest. Yeah, in, um, in the Witcher 3, it was like, I'm here to save the world. But before that, 
I'm gonna find this frying pan. Very cat fest, cat quest fetchy. Ooh, these were kind of by the Hydra, I feel like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Zwei for the win. Oh, oh, there's a gold one. Hmm. Hope there's like another. Ooh, there's some shiny item. I like shiny items. Smackdown. Ooh. Man, I feel like we have just enough stamina with the Zwei that we can get like all three hits in before we actually get hit. I wonder if this is a secret path over here. Um, nope. Okay. Zeph is getting close now. You've done amazing to get this far. I feel like it's been a good stream today, Dark Phoenix. I feel like we've done really good. We're like three and a half hours in. We've done two bosses, new area. This is a good stream, my friends. Thank you all so much for hanging out and being here, everybody. Like, honestly, all of you, I just want you to know, like, I really do appreciate all of you for the love and support, the friendship, the good vibes. It really, it really means a lot to me. Y'all are awesome sauce. Um, I would love to stay and watch, but I gotta go. Everyone have a wonderful rest of your day. Him, thank you so much for coming in, for being here, for bringing all those good vibes I just mentioned. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'm just sending big love to you, my friend. Happy, happy Monday indeed. Yes, Lord Jukebox knows always with the A1 flexes. The A1 flexes of love. <laughs> Sorry, I sent correctly. 40, oh, 41 bosses in Dark Souls 2. There's literally the same bosses in DS1 and 3 as in 2. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Whoa, that is interesting. That's a big crystally scully thingy. Oh, wow. That hits really hard. Wow, that's insane. Okay. Big crystal golem thing. Oh, dude, this thing hits like a tank. Oh, thank you so much, Jim. I appreciate it. My back appreciates you. What even is this? I feel like if I get hit again, I could probably die. So let's not get hit again. Oh, well, that didn't work. Ah, this is a big one. Dude, that attack is insane. Do I even need to fight this enemy? Probably not, but I always feel like I got to fight him at least once, you know? And then once we die and kind of come back through here, then we can. Okay, nice. Then we can hold off on him. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay you. Okay. Hi, Onion Friend. You saved her. You found her. Have you seen my father? You wouldn't <gasps> miss him. A suit of armor just. Onion Bro? Mind. I have seen Onion Bro. Thank goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now if we just stay put and keep out of trouble. Cool, cool. Is, is that it? Well then. Okay. I, I'm, maybe if we go find Onion Bro again, maybe he'll give us something. You saved her. Back to finding most of the NPC quest lines, but accident is truly surprising. I didn't even know that was a thing. I was just trying to take down the yellow crystally thing. I usually try to at least take down the enemies one time through here. And then if we find the boss, die to the boss and have to run through here again, then I'll usually um, kind of avoid them. That last part is pretty hard to find if you want to finish the quest line. Okay. Like finding Onion Bro again. Hmm. Onion Bro, Onion Bro, where could be Onion Bro? Ooh. Smack! A swing of that zwai. It hits. It hits hard. Ooh. And it staggers them. Zwai just for the win. By the way, you should invest in kindling the bonfire here. Well worth it. Is there going to be like... I'm assuming there's probably going to be another bonfire down here somewhere. 
Maybe not. Can we get up there? Here. Is this a hidden wall? Maybe. No. Oh. Fooey. That was a good jump, though. I'll take that. What does this say? Bean pole. What are all these, like, crystal cavern mountain crystal things? It's a weird spot so far. But yeah, so once we find the next bonfire, I'm assuming this is on our way to fight Seath again. Um, the dragon. Wh wherever that bonfire is, definitely will probably, probably kindle it. Unless it's the one back there. That would be so mean. Ooh, wow. 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 It's like a crystal ice cavern. Hmm. Be wary of gorgeous view. Yeah, be wary of falling to your death. Yeah, definitely falling to your death. What was that? Crystal cave? Who knows? Who knows? Indeed. Seriously, although, thank you, big time, for watching me die. Oh, well, well, oh. I had him in the first half. <laughs> this part is pain. Okay. Hmm. I won't ask anything. Looks like you've just ventured into the Fortress of Solitude. A fortress of death be coming to your face, right? That was a fall down there. Where? Wait, where? Wait, where was that? Where was that? Oh. Yes. Not going to lie. This part will make your hands sweat and your heart rate skyrocket. Really? Yo, Crystal Ember. That's pretty cool. Unlurk. Yo, welcome back, Captain Mike. We just finding some Chris. What? Did I really not? That's a mimic. You see the chain? Imminent fleeing. That's a mimic. Aha! It's all on the chain. That's the giveaway, right? Yo, welcome back, Lord Jukebox. <laughs> no, you are good. You're good. Ooh, what's that? Enchanted Fal Falcon. Falchion. That's the chest I was talking about earlier, by the way. Oh, the crystal ember one. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I thought you were skipping it because it was a mimic. Need head. I mean, no comment. Um, yeah, so we got the crystal ember there. That was pretty cool. So it seems like crystal cavern cave is a little slippery. So yeah, we got to be careful on our way down here. This will make your hands sweat, your heart rate skyrocket. It seems okay. It seems very slippery. What does this say? Be wary of gorgeous view. I'm so tired at being a Monday. Don't help either. Yeah. Are you working today? Captain Mike. Take that. Is that like really this? I will say truly through playing Dark Souls 1 so far, I feel like all the areas in this game are so unique. Like, I really will give it to that. I mean, even compared to Bloodborne, even compared to Demon Souls. I mean, Demon Souls has some really cool areas too. But there's like a lot of... There's a lot of really, really, really cool areas in this game. Need bravery. Need death, probably. Whoa, what is that? That kind of looks like a moonlight, the moonlit butterfly a little bit. Getting a new fish tank tomorrow, so I'm getting, doing some preparation. That is super cool. What kind of fish are you getting in the fish tank? Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're dead. Are we dead? We're not dead. I like when we're not dead. Oh, we're going to be dead. The timing, tough. The, yeah, the timing in this seems like very, very particular. What is it? Uh, can we walk over there? I don't know. That looks weird. Fish tank. I've never had a fish tank. I think my aunt had a fish tank, though. That'd be really cool, honestly. I'm guessing, do we attack? 
I don't know if we can attack. I don't know if... Our... Nope. I guess we can attack. Now what happens? That definitely looks exactly like the Moonlight Butterfly. Oh, it is! Okay. Um, And I don't have, like, any long-range weapon. <laughs> Do not attack! Uh-oh. Now you tell me. Oh, wow. That was... That, that hurt. Ah! Uh, Uh-oh. Okay. That, so that was a bad idea. Rip indeed. That was bad. Bad move right there. Can we like roll through there? Nope. No roll. Take the bridge. Aggro 9,000. Wait, there's a bridge? Where's the bridge? All right. I'm just going to go for this leap of faith. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Oh my God. Are you serious? Dark souls. What in the hell? Okay, I guess that's the thing in this game. Okay, so there's invisible bridges. And there's death. Wow. Okay, well, at least we kind of are kind of getting a sense where we're going. Zeph passed the bravery test. I just saw the, like, the writings over there in midair, and I'm like, how would you write that? You know, unless... There's something sus there. I want to see him find out this area. Oh, I, is there just a lot of the area covered in like invisible bridges? That definitely does not sound like fun. Welcome to the sweating part. Oh, it's just like, just embrace the death to come, right? Ah, uh, so there was. Okay. So anytime I see stuff like that, just leap of faith, right? This area sucks. It's been interesting so far. Welcome in, Spartan. Happy Monday. How's your day going today? But definitely be aware of the... Be wary of the gorgeous views, right? It's just... I don't feel like I want to fight these things every time, so... Running past them is going to be fun. Okay, yeah, that, that orange writing over there. I wonder if that's an invisible thing, too. It is. Okay. 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 Humanity. I hope it's not still a aggravated. Okay. Let's not attack it this time. Mondays are never happy. I like Mondays. Mondays means I get a stream. So I'm excited for Mondays. But I'm thinking of putting like a hundred Tetris, some anglefish, maybe a couple of small eels too. That could be super cool. If you get the whole fish tank and everything sorted out, I would love to see it. You can look for snow falling on the invisible bridges. Are these like the big ones? Ow, that hurt. Oh, here he comes. All right. Big crystal golems hit hard, but I hit even harder. Maybe not. Okay. Um, uh, oh man, dude, come on. Like one more good hit. Give me a good one. Oh, we missed. He missed two. Woo. Okay. You can look for snow falling on the invisible bridge. Okay. Yeah. I kind of see it over there. This is weird. This is really weird. This is a whole lot of weird. I'm just walking on air path. If I didn't have these here, I don't know if I would know where to go. Why would they make the bridge invisible? Is there an item you can equip that like shows the bridge? No, you dick. Well, okay. Back to square one. Cuz from soft, cuz from soft. <laughs> you died. I did. That was a BS death. Once I put it in motion, I'll send you a pick. I'd send the small one too, but I got to clean it. Sounds like a plan. I'm excited to see it. Honestly, a fish tank. That'd be really cool. Has anyone else ever had a fish tank before? The markings kind of give it away, but it seems sus at the same time. Yes. This whole area is feeling like a lot of sus. Because you need something to question. Mm, question your sanity, it feels like. Um, bridge is not invisible. You are just blind by fear. 
Uh, I'm feeling brave. I'm feeling brave. I'm feeling stuck too. There we go. That is deep. 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 I found my moment. Okay. All right, crystal skellies. Let's run from the skellies. I, I really hope there's a bonfire at the end. If we, if, if Seath is at the very end of this and we have to go through this whole entire thing just to try again on the boss, that would really suck. I'm not going to lie. That would be crappy. So I hope there's a bonfire before the boss. But like you said, cuz from soft. Bridge, bridge, bridge. The yellow one disappeared, so that's not a respawning one. That's good to know. Oh. I just feel like I'm going to fall right off the ledge. All right. Our souls. The yellow ones don't respawn, so I feel like these are worth trying to take out. Ow. Dude, dude, dude. Don't fall off the edge, man. All right. I feel like we should do more of the swings. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, he hit me. Oh, and I'm falling. Okay. Maybe we should not fight those. Actually, best thing about souls is they can run past almost every enemy except the bosses. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe on those ones. The cool thing is it seems like if you kill the yellow ones, they'll stay permanently dead. But maybe we should just run past them just to just to see. Hmm, maybe we'll run past it. We'll take the coward's way out. Is it the coward's way out or is the, it the more time efficient way out? All right. At least I got my juicy, juicy five sunny D's. Definitely does not feel like enough. And all I hear is like the chain mill ringing. All right, crystal cave round four. Round four? I think round four. All right, we'll let this one just walk on by. I'll sneak by over here. Enjoy hitting the ground back down this way. I wonder, I wonder if this is like, this isn't ice, is it? No, he said snow earlier. So I'm guessing this is like an ice area. Hey, I will take that. It's the best way out. They aren't worth fighting for. They aren't worth fighting. Poor golems. You're not even worth fighting, my friends. You're just worth running past. <gasps> these moonlit butterflies. I wonder if these are the exact same enemies as the boss. Because when we were down in Demon Ruins, the Taurus, there were multiple Taurus demons. There were multiple Capra demons. So I wonder why we fought the moonlit butterfly earlier. Maybe was the butterfly like lost and not supposed to be there? Was it a different moonlit butterfly? So many questions. So many questions. Okay, where are we going? Um, I don't think this way. Okay. More invisible area maybe somewhere. Um, I see that one up there. Yeah, they are the same enemies. Very interesting. I wonder why the moonlit butterfly was like in that area then. Maybe there's something like story related. We're we supposed to fall somewhere like. Oh, no, not fall. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Some early game bosses are common enemies in late game. Yeah, like the Taurus demons. Yeah, right there. That's where we're supposed to fall post. Fall to our death and demise. Okay. Well, I'm just... What am I missing right there? Something's missing. <laughs> that command never gets old, Zach. Uh, interesting. Invisible bridges. I'm just thinking what I, what I might have missed over there. Huh. I really hope there's a bonfire at the end of this is all I'm going to say. This would be really crappy. This would be really crappy to have to go through this again if we like fight Seath and die. 
Okay, Crystal Cave. Working, working. There are some like little shortcuts like that, which are nice. And oh, is he gonna fall off? Dude, you were totally gonna fall off there. Yeah, this is the home of the butterflies. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if Seath the Scaleless is like their boss, their god, their mama. Maybe kill the yellow one and think about finding your path with a cool head. Yeah, I was going to try to just run past the yellow one. If it... I don't know. We'll see. Let's try to take it easy. Is there anything... It looks like there could maybe be a bridge over this way. Okay. Oh, no. Dude, 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 dude. Dude, what's going on? Are we, like, stuck? That was really weird. Is there one right here, maybe? Oh! There is not one there. Okay. Okay. See, created the butterflies. They're like mini dragons then. They're like butterfly dragons. Huh. <laughs> this is a... Uh, Death-defying area, it would seem. I guess it would just be cool if there was some kind of equipment or something or a ring you could put on. Something to see the invisible landscape in front of you, you know? Stop making so much noise in the library? I'm running away from the library. We're outside. We're playing, we're playing fetch out here. Me and Boogeyman. Souls players plummeting to their death. It never gets old. You know, gravity is the hardest boss in Souls games, right, Dark Phoenix? Gravity and greed. If you can if you can conquer gravity and greed, you are a Souls born master. Alright, I'm just trying to pay extra close attention. And we Oh for sure. And the camera. Oh the camera. Especially during boss battles, the camera just there was a couple times during the ONS battle where the camera was just messing with me and I'm like, why are you doing this? Get out of the way. Miyazaki would laugh at that suggestion. <laughs> gravity and greed. Gravity and greed. Yeah, the camera. Camera's tough to maneuver. Not all the time, but sometimes. Oh. Okay, we got our... Wait, that was zero souls. Okay. We got our zero souls back, everybody. Rich. Like, this is the ultimate battle against your arch nemesis, Gravity. This is... This is you and Gravity coming head to head right here. Unless there's maybe another bridge over this way. Okay. I don't see any snowflakes landing anywhere right here, though. Okay, so there's must not be anything there. What are we missing? Maybe we got to take down Yellow Golem. Maybe we got to take down Yellow Golem first. Wow. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't knock me off the edge, please. Please. I just don't want to die yet. Oh, boy. Wow. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. How many coins do you have? I mean, light stones. Light stones? Um, we have like copper coins, silver coins, gold coins, prism stones. These ones drop and listen. Drop and listen to check heights. Maybe we should try those. That could be interesting. Let's. Where was it at? Uh, prism stone right here. Maybe we could try like throwing them. It's starting to sink in. Isn't it sink in down the crystal cavern? <laughs> sink in down the crystal cave we go. But it, it, did everybody else kind of struggle with this part? It's not just me. Everybody else kind of also fell off the ledge once or twice or 10 times. I wonder what other items in the game I haven't even looked at that 
could have been somewhat helpful. I definitely feel like I get items and maybe don't read the item description. That That's a big pointer for anybody who is interested in playing the Soulsborne games. I would definitely recommend to uh, read the item descriptions. They'll tell you what the item's good for. And there's usually some good backstory lore to them as well. Everyone dies here. I don't feel nearly as bad, Lord Jukebox. Everyone's death is imminent here. Let's see. Myself, personally, I did a no death run on my first playthrough of DS1. <laughs> uh, Vador didn't happen, Starfish. You know, if there is anybody that could do it, I think beautiful Starfish absolutely could. 100%. All right, maybe we got to drop. We got to drop somewhere, it sounds like. But where can we drop and not die? Besides everywhere. Well, everywhere we can drop and die. Um, <laughs> I'm just being honest, Starfish. I'm just being honest, my friend. You are a wonderful friend to have, and I value our friendship. If we go over that edge, though, we're dead. So we have to stay on this side. Oh! <laughs> okay that did not work out how i had intended it to so here's the plan everybody i think we'll give this maybe one two more attempts we'll kind of see where it goes well he technically i mean i was staying on that side of the rock and he just had other plans he just was like get out of my get out of my cave whack Oh, Zaf. Crystal caverns are like skewering me right now. I just got to find the path. Once we find the path, then we should be good. Just why would they make it invisible? Like, as a friend, I will tell you that you can use prism stones to check if there's an invisible platform or not. Maybe we should try. Can we like throw them? I mean, I guess that's a throw. The weakest throw of all time. He would definitely not be a quarterback, is all I'm saying. Well, so we got to kind of toss him over the edge and see. But also, if as a friend, I enjoy watching the deaths. <laughs> I I enjoy dying from time to time as well. I struggled with my first, first playthrough of DS1 because my first and only other Souls game I played was Sekiro. Oh, yeah. Sekiro was like totally different, right? It's way more like I haven't played Sekiro myself yet. But everyone says Sekiro is like very, very parry intensive, right? By the way, not so creative. Welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Monday so far. When your strength is max, but your dex is low. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Oh. Okay. Do we just like hit somebody on the head down there? Oh, not there. What is that sound? Uh, maybe over this way. Okay. Not there. Maybe over this way. Uh, um, um, Okay. What what is that sound? I know. Uh Oh. The sound of death. Ah. That oh. Mm -hmm. I would say Sekiro in terms of combat is the exact polar opposite of Dark Souls 1. It is was quite the learning curve and I'm doing great. Thanks. I'm happy to hear you're doing well. Yeah, everyone says Sekiro is like it's so much it's like essentially if parries in this game were the main way of playing right going from Dark Souls to Sekiro was difficult because I wasn't ready for the fast pace yeah same with like Bloodborne I, I was kind of the opposite actually going from like Bloodborne to Demon Souls was took me like a week for my brain to like grasp how to play it because I was so used to playing like Bloodborne yo not so creative thank you so much for the follow as well my friend super happy to have you yeah, going from Bloodborne to, to Demon Souls was just so polar opposite. 
And then like a weekend, everyone was like, maybe you should try to use the shield. And it's like the shield. Why would I use the shield? You don't just dodge everything. No, using the shield is, is a great tool to use. Sound of every souls player dying. You're probably not wrong, Dark Phoenix. It's like the most intense screaming sound. Ah! Maybe every every prism stone is like a Soulsborne player that's fallen off the cliffs here. It's channeling the inner souls. I feel like at this point, it's it's personal. At this point, I gotta take down that yellow, the yellow golem thing over here. We can't we can't be keep coming down here and having it whooping our butt. That's a big no no. But this one is our prism stone still here? No, it's not. This was interesting. It's like a cliff, but it didn't seem like there was any other way around it. So where else would you connect to? Where else is there any connection over here? Where's our connecting point? All right, swipe. Don't get hit. Do not get hit. We just got hit. I thought we were not supposed to get hit. Let's try to not get hit. That's a great way. That was totally luck though. Oh, okay. Come on. Don't fall off the ledge, please. Camera, what are you doing? Camera. No. <laughs> Exploration and lack of info makes me love Dark Souls because you are forced out of your comfort, comfort zone to get better and to learn. Right, right. I wonder how many people that exploration and lack of info, though. I wonder how many people started the game and just were... I wonder if they got, like, turned off by it, you know? Because there is no hand-holding. There's not very much tutorial. It's very much like you're going to explore the world and figure it out or not. Which I like. I like a lot as well, Lord Jukebox. But I wonder how many people were just like, this game is... I don't get it, you know? I know, Sketchy Bonito, I know. The, oh, the only tutorial is YouTube. Yes. I've tried very, very hard to stay completely off YouTube and walkthroughs and stuff, so... I try very hard to not spoil anything so we can go into this as as like first play as possible, you know? Cause it would be, I don't know. Although I will say watching a lot of my streamer friends on Twitch play through like Dark Souls 3, I've definitely spoiled a little bit of DS3 myself, but I feel like I haven't really seen much of Dark Souls 2 at all. I've seen a little bit from like Zack and Fortune, but not enough to where I feel like I would spoil anything. But it's fun, you know, when you go and you just have no idea what's going on. It's fun to kind of see how people play the games differently. I feel like that's why a lot of people like first playthroughs. Maybe, actually, I don't think we've gone. Have we gone over? No, we can't really go over there. Oh, oh I think he might have fallen off the ledge. Ah! Oh, the revenge is sweet and tasty. My friend did. He made it to Firelink and then got annoyed when he couldn't get past the hollows going to Burge when I told him to go to the stairs. So our running joke for five years is he beat the game with wooden armor and a broken sword. Nice, nice. Yeah, it pretty much does drop you in Firelink. And there's like five different ways you can go. And then it doesn't really tell you exactly where to go, right? I got some useful buddy info from Ollie. He's a great Souls player. It made my runs bearable. But once once it clicks, it's so much fun, right? Yo, Steel, welcome in. How you doing? Happy Monday, Steel. Throw anything over here? Oh, gar. How's the gameplay been so far? It's It's been a lot of deaths, but it's been fun. How's your Monday going, Steel? Got a taste of his own medicine. About time, too, I'll say. Anything over here? Nope. <laughs> that sound is not... I will not get used to that sound. Nothing over there. Okay. Um. 
If I was an invisible bridge, where would I be? If I was an invisible bridge, where would I be? I have no idea where I would be. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe here? You might be exploring far down. Arr, nothing there. Try going left after the invisible bridge. Um, well, I just dropped my mom off the hospital. COVID rules won't let me stay there with her. Oh, does she? I'm really sorry, Cody. I hope she's not too sick. I hope I hope you're not sick. I hope everything's going okay. Uh, hospital visits are like one of my least favorite things in the world. Just popping in for some streams during my lunch break. Hell yeah. How's work going today, Steel? We're too far down. So maybe over here. Okay. I, right? Yeah, the, the noise when it hits the bottom is ridiculous. So there is, there is a path right here. Or like, yeah, like here. Just where to next? Oh my God. This is definitely something. Mm. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. See, I do see, I do see them over there. The, the red, like the orange writings. You most likely have COVID. I spent the last couple of days with no sleep taking care of her. I'm really, really, really sorry to hear that, Cody. Definitely sending you big love and good vibes, my friend. And hopefully she gets well and isn't, isn't too bad. You don't allow anyone nowadays, which sucks. Yeah. The path are you on is extra for the trunk, so it isn't necessary. Okay, this is not the path. I see those right there. Hold on. Let's try to line up right underneath it, like right here, maybe. Oh, man. Last prism stone. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. So... Without me dying again, everybody, here's where I'll ask for the tip. Here's where I'll ask for a tip. I do see the markings in the distance. I see the orange letterings right up there, but I know the snow is supposed to fall and kind of land on a bridge somewhere. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, I see them over there. Go back to the first bridge. Okay, the first golden golem, explore there. This invisible bridge isn't the one you need. Okay, so this is kind of a dead end. We're on dead end right here. So let's try over here. Like overthinking it maybe a little bit. Let's try down here. Oh, oh hey, I do see over there. Maybe, th yeah, that could be something. That could oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't fall off the ledge, dude. Yeah, go that way. Okay. Right here. <gasps> oh, no, bro, bro. Oh. Well, sort of getting there, sort of getting there. Keep going on the crystal. My God, why Miyazaki? Why, why, why would you do this? Why? Why make it invisible? I mean, they could have just made it slippery, but visible. But no, we got to do both. We got to do both. Slippery and invisible. Too soon, man. Too soon. I'm send I'm just going to I'm sending Kappa faces to to Miyazaki right now. Keep going straight from there, the slippery one. Okay. Kind of on the right path. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is, this is a weird area. Crystal cave. Okay. Come to me, crystal golem. All right. You should like totally fall off the ledge right there. The slippery one. Ah, uh, they don't make this easy, do they? Okay. Moonlit butterfly. Roll down. All right. Look for where would I be looking? Where would I be looking? 
This is kind of like the slippery one. Is this the area you're talking about? Man, I, 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 I truly am at, I wonder how many people played through this area and were just like, I'm going to just use a walkthrough. This would, this would probably be the point where I would pull up a walkthrough online and just be like, where is the damn area at? After the bridge, turn left. Okay. Okay. So we're here. We're on the middle one. Right here. Keep going. Just keep going straight. Oh, don't fall off the ledge. Can we like roll up here at all? Oh, oh, is this a thing? This is a thing. Oh, okay. Um, there you go. And then just don't die, please. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. These things are great. Oh, did we not even get it? It's okay. One of the best things about Sekiro is you can, at the very least, see everything. I really hate the few areas in DS1 they lack visibility. Right, right. I totally agree. I totally agree with that. Like, I wouldn't mind if it was slippery, but slippery and invisible. I just, I feel like it doesn't need to be invisible, you know? Like, I just, I feel like there's no reason for them to make it invisible. Well, not playing DS. Well, I wouldn't say that, Cody. I would definitely still recommend you at least to uh, to give it a shot because it's a super fun game. But that was interesting, I'll say. I'm sure we're not even done either. There's probably more invisibleness to come. Soul of a hero. Soul of a hero. I enjoy seeing things. Well, hopefully, hopefully the deaths get a good laugh. <laughs> they give a good laugh to me. Oh, I'm like, please be a bonfire somewhere. Please, please. No, no bonfire. Hey, these things. I think these were in the Ashen Lake, Ash Lake area, right? Boss coming soon. Uh-oh. Yo, Dart, Nanaki. Welcome in, Nanaki. How you doing today, buddy? Happy Monday, Legends. So good to see you. How's your day going today? Are you winning, Zef? I am trying to win. Trying being the very, very, very bold keyword. The point of having eyes if you can't use them properly. I know, right? Wait, these are all... I hope they're not cursed. Oh, is this it? Is there really no bonfire? So if we die, we got to do this whole thing again. Sleepy day, apparently. My friend, I'm sending you all the coffee vibes. You got this, Nana Key. We got this together, everybody, right? I guess we'll try first try. See, first try. And why, oh, I said to kindle that one. Okay. We're going to first try see. I highly doubt it, but it never hurts to dream. Wait, dude, what, what the hell is it healing? No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um Okay. Maybe do we got to take that out? Hold on. Let's let's attack that. Okay. That looks interesting. Now can we attack Seath? Let's get a quick heal. Attack. Okay. Now we can attack. More attacks. Oh god. Uh-oh. Don't even focus on the... Oh, boy. Please, heal. Heal, 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 Go! God, keep going. We're going to be, like, greedy, but not try to be greedy. Uh-oh. Heal, heal. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, dude, are we being poisoned? No way. Dude, are we cursed? <gasps> no! Did we get cursed? No! No, please, please, please tell me no. Oh my God. This game really hates us. This game really hates us. Oh no. Oh my God. Those clam things drop purging stones. You can heal your curse with. Okay. That is super handy to know. That the clam boys threw you off your groove a bit. Yeah. Uh, I think I might have some. I might have some purging stones. So cursed about to burst. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. I think I, I think I might have some. Cursed. What is it? The purging stones. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I feel like that wasn't a, a bad first round though. You know, I feel like that wasn't too bad. Ah, but yeah, I feel like we got to not. I think we got this. I'm feeling confident. The plus 10 Zy always helps. Second try, maybe. I wonder if that immortality rehealing thing stays or if we have to fight it, if we have to hit it again. Because with Bed of Chaos, when we attack the shields, they stayed gone. Had those, you know the route now, so all is good. Yeah, we got this. And then, oh, we should have kindled the bonfire. Damn it. Damn it. Because, yeah, if we had more Estus Flask, we could kind of tank through the, the crystal attacks. Okay. If we die again, I'll kindle the bonfire with as much humanity as I have. Yeah, I feel like if we had, like, plus 10 or plus 15 Estus Flask, we could kind of weather that crystal attack thing a little bit more, you know? Let's see. Hey, chat. What bosses hasn't he done yet? He is done this. Yeah, so I've done Nido. I have done bed of chaos today and then we're at seath and then i think the fourth one is what is the fourth one what is the fourth one uh new londo that's the other one new londo so i haven't i have not done new londo yet ah that's so slippery and then roll through and then right here okay Oh, thank you all for helping me with this path. This was going to drive me bonkers. The four kings. The four... Oh, the four kings. I'm like, the four kings. Like spoon and forking. Never mind. Never mind. Um, The centipede. Yeah, we did the centipede. We did bed of chaos. And now today we're on seeth. Well, I mean, actually we did centipede and bed of chaos. Let's see if we get take these down maybe you said they dropped the purging stones those could be super helpful let's just not get hit as we get hit that's okay oh and there's a lot there's a lot of them wow <laughs> oh mountain border thank you so much my friend wow i know today has been a pretty wow day if we could take down seath which is looking less and less okay kindle the bonfire and then we, and then we got seath we're going to do the DLC too. One of the bosses of the DLC was my absolute fave in the game. So I know there's... I know of the DLC bosses, but I haven't fought any of them as... I haven't fought any of them yet. But yes, I definitely want to do the DLC bosses for sure. A thousand percent. Blue boy. There's Calamite the Dragon. There's... Who else? There's the tough one, Manus, Artorius, Artorius. I have, so I have seen Dahlia the monkey. I have seen her fight Artorius and that looks like a badass boss. I cannot wait for Artorius. That looks like it's going to be a good one. All right. Kindle, Kindle, Kindle. Artorius is my fave. I feel like a lot of people say Artorius is their fave. See, it, it's something when it's like the more human bosses, you know, the ones that are like more human size. I feel like they're more, they're more fun. <laughs> Yo, DJ Anime, thank you so much for playing the sexy sax. We vibing. We vibing. We dying. We vibing. We dying. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Plus 15 Estus Flask. This is it, everybody. We taking down Seath this time. Let's just definitely not get poisoned again. Or, or not poisoned, cursed. You know, Calamite, he was added exclusively for... Oh. Calamite the Dragon actually wasn't like a original DLC boss. It was added for the remaster. Um, Artorius is my fave because it seriously felt like I was fighting a Sekiro boss in Dark Souls. It was super fun. I'm excited. I've seen a little bit of the fight. And it looks like he he's like a sword wielder, right? And he seems to be able to, like, lunge super intensely. So, I'm excited. Oh, Calamite was in the original game in the DLC. Gotcha. Okay. Very interesting. I'll definitely say, I feel like I do better in boss fights with more, like, human-to-human -human size. 
like human to human size uh bosses but the bigger ones the more chaotic crazy ones like amygdala and you know ludwig those ones i struggle with a little bit more um don't recall only remembered in the remaster i wonder how much different graphical like graphically wise the remaster to the original is like is there a pretty big graphic difference or is it just like 1080p is it impossible to buy the dlc anymore after a while but he is there oh don't let me fall okay like please don't fall yo what mama bun buns in the house yo mama bun bun crew welcome in everybody hello raiders welcome in raiders mama bun buns sending all the bun bun love yo welcome in blood hooves welcome in happy monday it's jow welcome in happy monday and mama buns the amazing the magnificent what were you playing mama buns hold on let me get my keyboard turned on we got to get you an epic epic shout out my friend um welcome in by the way raiders for anybody new here my name is zeph we are playing some dark souls right now about to go take down a boss we'll try to take down a boss but um playing apex legends hell yeah mama bun buns is an outstanding part of our community mama bun buns is amazing soft if you all do not know mama bun buns sorry my my, my mouth is all bumbling over the words if y'all do not know mama bun buns a hundred billion gajillion percent would recommend you to go give her an epic follow she is absolutely incredible um she's absolutely amazing thank you so much for that raid and hope everybody is just having an absolutely outstanding day mia welcome in mia Luna. how you doing today yes we got mad love from mama bun buns she is just magnificent sauce how are you doing in apex did you get those wins does anybody that came in with the raid has anybody here knew that um is a dark souls fan do we got any dark souls fans in chat I think we're on Seath the Scaleless Dragon. Gonna go for round two here in a second. Doesn't seem like a bad boss so far, though. Um, oh, had to cut stream to attend a oh, work-related meeting. Gotcha. Got oh, were you were you streaming and working at the same time? Hell yeah. Dark Souls is a great game. Yo, we got Poppy Fubar emotes as well, Jal. We can definitely be friends. Hell yeah. Got mad love for Poppy Fubar attempt two at round two technically actually technically Nanaki, yeah died on our last way here but i'm feeling good i feel like we got it this time hell yeah um but if you are heading out mama bun buns i hope you have a wonderful meeting seriously appreciate the raid immensely appreciate you bringing friends over um love you to pieces so damn much my friend dark souls is really fun haven't played it in years though yo which one was the last one you played blood hooves i've played bloodborne I've played okay and it looks like that thing is gone so we can just go straight in for the attacks I played Bloodborne Demon Souls and now oh no it's still there what where's it at might be behind might be behind okay going over this way oh see that's a tail cut yo let's get that tail cut then oh we missed we missed ah wow wow holy crap wow wow holy crap never mind wow i i don't even know what happened there we just died i just walked in and died <laughs> yo sweets thank you so much as well for the epic host my friend i super appreciate it has the tail cut on the middle tail so we should go for the tail cut right i didn't want to interrupt the raid. just wanted to say climb it was a huge pain in the rear for me so if you want to summon your boy to mitigate the pain let me know hell yeah i i'm pretty intense on trying to do everything um i haven't done any summons in any of the games so i'm trying to do everything like single player for the most part but i do have some plans for like a a bloodborne or a dark souls co-op stream maybe on like a saturday or something and i would love to whether we do like the chalice dungeons or i don't know just just play the game brand new co-op I think that would be a ton of fun. Would anybody be down for that? Like a Dark Souls co-op stream or or like Bloodborne? I think we we're talking earlier. You can have up to four people. So maybe get like four people in Discord chat and just have a kick-ass time. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. I'd be down. Yeah, I've never used any of the summons on any, any of the bosses. Even the ones that have drove me mad and like took like 20, 30 attempts. 
Even on Ornstein and Smile, that was probably my hardest boss I fought in any video game ever. Good luck then. I appreciate it, my friend. Dark Souls 3 is the only one I've played. Dark Souls 3 looks really fun. I'm, I'm kind of debating with myself if I should do Dark Souls 2 next or go straight into Dark Souls 3. But I kind of think I'll just go Dark Souls 2 and then Dark Souls 3. I feel like I got to see what the hype about Dark Souls 2 is about. A fashion soul? Yo, a fashion souls contest? Hell yeah. With the Zwei, of course. Got to have our... Our big massive sword here. I don't know. There's been a couple cool outfits so far that I've been that I've been digging. The gold helmet helmed one I really like a lot. And then Knight Lot Lotrix. Lotrix. Whoever the knight was, I like his gold armor set. But three is amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what all the mixed feelings about Dark Souls 2 is, you know? Yo, Blood Hooves, thank you so much for the follow as well. So excited to have you here, my friend. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Blood Hooves. All right, everybody. Round three on Seath. We got to get this tail, right? Everybody, we got to get this tail chop. My friends never play, but the level design doesn't quite hit the same. I feel like the little bit I've seen of DS3, it looks, it reminds me a lot of Bloodborne. Like, you can see the Bloodborne influence. What? Come on! Chop the tail off! Really? Are you not chopping the tail off there? Really? Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Don't get cursed again, please. All right. We'll just go for this, and then maybe maybe we have to chop the tail off after this, actually. Um, shield. I don't know if a shield will help during any of this, but... This is interesting music. This is like the weirdest music I've heard in the game so far. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. Locked on, not good. Um, wow. I don't see anything. I have no idea what's going on. No, 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 dude, dude, chaos. Just, just pure chaos going on here. Where is this tail? Oh, God. What the hell? Dude! Oh no, don't... Please do not curse me. Oh my god, y'all. Dude, no. No, no. That was way closer than it needed to be. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna get the tail. I'm just... I'm just trying to survive here. Most common statement in the Dark Souls boss ever. I'm just trying to survive. No! 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 Ow! Oh, I hate the curse! Ow! Oh. Dude, this curse effect sucks! Who, who put this in there? <sighs> Miyazaki. Miyazaki, man. Yo, Pedro, welcome in! You got this! I thought I had it. I did not have it. I did not have it. I mean, we still have, like, the purging stone, but I think I only have one left. Ah! Uh, yes, we need to put some armor on that absolutely guards against curse. That was my bad. That was my bad. Yo, Flash Drive, welcome in, my friend. How you doing today? Yo, girlfriend experience, welcome in. How you doing today? Resistance builds. Stay winning. Yes, yes, yes. Let's let's uh let's swap some armor with something a little bit more curse resistant right yo 10 14 playings a favor is there anything else more curse resistant 19 what is that crimson waist cloth okay we're going with the crimson set we're going with the crimson yo the poppy foobar emotes if you all got the poppy foobar emotes definitely throw them in chat poppy's emotes are like arguably the best emotes on twitch in my humble opinion poppy foobar always for the win cleaning but want to pop in and support Woo! oh i appreciate it thank you so much girlfriend experience i appreciate the love i have good news <gasps> suits what's the good news suits bringing good news good news is we're about to crush this boss i hope so i wonder how much uh how much more curse resistant this outfit is than the other one the clams will not follow you anymore since there is a fog wall now. The clams will not. You know what? I think you're right. I don't think I noticed any of the clams. 
I think you're right. Hmm. Okay. It's just Seath and I. What do you think? Is this the one? Is this the run, everybody? Actually, let me make sure my MacBook is okay. We're at 17% battery life on my MacBook, everybody. So this better be the run because uh, I guess my MacBook knows that I usually stream four hours and this is a, a little past <laughs> a little past when it should be done. So uh, send all the good vibes to my MacBook, everybody. Send all the good vibes. Please don't explode on me. All right. Round. I think this is round four with Seath. We got it this time, everybody. This is the one. This is the run. I hope so. No, no, no. Oh my God. Oh. No. No. If all you're on the first fight, that is how I died to that boss when I played. Ah, not this run. Oh, ah. you all we got this, please. This crystal. Okay. This crystal cave might be the worst run to a boss I've experienced so far. The fact they really didn't put a bonfire anywhere in there is a little. Hmm. Fourth try, take two. Ex exactly. Thank you, Nanaki. Thank you. Fourth try, take two. And... I have no idea what is going on with the physics in this game, but we're rolling with it. Did you see that? <laughs> Hype Pog incoming. Hype Pog emote would actually be pretty cool. Yes, all the hypeness incoming. I hope so. Honestly, what do you think, Suits? Is this the worst run to a boss in the Souls games? What do y'all think is the worst run to a boss in the Souls games? I'm trying to think. What what else would be, like, super frustrating? I mean... Old Yarnum. Old Yarnum can be pretty frustrating, I guess. That was hilarious. <laughs> Getting going through old Yarnum to get <clears throat> to Blood Starved Beast can be kind of a pain in the butt. What else? It's like a run up to the boss is just like super intense. The old monk, the old monk in um Demon Souls. Come on. Most of Demon Souls, most of Demon Souls. I'm trying to think. Armor. I mean, I feel like Armor Spider wasn't too bad. Flame Lurker. Man, I must have gotten like insane lucky on Flame Lurker because everybody always says Flame Lurker is like one of the hardest bosses ever. And I think we took down Flame Lurker like second try. There must have been a couple bosses like that that are just no oh, the man eaters. Oh my god. Man eaters are just man eaters are tough for all the wrong reasons. Man eaters are no fun. Ornstein and Smile a little bit, getting that jump over. Oh, Forbidden Woods, you are 100% right. Dude, what? We just got hit through the fog wall? BS. All right, we got to chop this and then the battle can begin. The Forbidden Woods and Bloodborne were kind of blah. Definitely not a fan. Please do not get cursed again, Knight. This looks like a dragon meets Ursula. I'm getting like Ursula vibes from this for some reason from like Little Mermaid. All right. I feel like locking on is a bad idea. Let's try to not lock on. Oh, and let's try to chop this tail off. I don't know if that works. All right. Attack. Attack. Let's get some more attacks. All right. There is that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. Oh dude, I don't know where I am. I'm in I'm in a tentacle. We're in a tentacle. Okay. Dude, what? Can you even dodge these attacks? Or is it just like Dude, I have no idea what is going on. Dude, I have no idea where I am. I'm just getting hit. I'm just dying. We're just dying. Just accept it. Oh my God. What is going on? Oh, 
I, I can't even like keep track of what's going on here. We're just dying. Wow. This dude is the true bed of chaos. You're not wrong. Like this is a little intense. Oh, there's Amygdala's laser we talked about. Oh, come on. Come on. Just get some more hits in a couple more, a couple more. Oh, at least the curse thing is working. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Don't die. Don't die. Don't do dude. Dude, I, I can't even see straight. I don't even know where we're at. Don't get cursed, please. Please. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? No, dude. Exactly. That's exactly. Crystal spikes happen in two zones when you are in front of him. God, I don't have any more of the damn purging stones either. I do not have any of the purging stones. So much Sag. Call smash it tomorrow. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. Is like we're gonna like first try Seath tomorrow our area and cuddle area oh dude we were so close we were like one more hit away we were just one more hit away from getting seeth fooey you were so close i know i could like feel it in my soul suits gonna head out zeph and finish more work thank you for always being the best entertainment keeping me sane during my work yo heather i appreciate you my friend thank you for hanging out and lurking and chilling the whole time actually i'm probably gonna take that as our moment to raid out um we my computer is about to die here any minute so we're called we're probably gonna call it a day but tomorrow y'all gotta help me out tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna take down this damn scaleless dragon octopus looking thing and uh yeah i think after that we got to go to new londo right so tomorrow will be seath and new londo area and i have a feeling we're getting really close to the end of this game y'all so thank you all so much for hanging out for vibing for chilling for bringing big love today everybody i really appreciate y'all so incredibly much but that means we got to go raid, right? We got to go raid. We got to go give some epic love. See you later, Zeph. It was a great first stream for me. Dude, I really appreciate it, Creative. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you again to Mama Bun Buns for the epic raid. Thank you again immensely to Blood Man Char earlier for the epic raid. For everybody hanging out, I really, really appreciate you all so much. But if you all could stay and hang out for a moment, we got to go give some big, big, big love. So we got to go see who we could raid who is playing playing some good games that we could go give some love to actually actually y'all i have an idea y'all hang out with me jump aboard the raid train for this one this one is going to be a very special raid a huge 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 part of our community a wonderful friend mr white is streaming right now and it's his birthday so so i mean We've never, I don't think we've raided Mr. White in a very long time. So let's go raid Mr. White, Mr. White, everybody. Let's go give Mr. White big, big birthday love. Um, Mr. White is like a huge, huge part of this community and always brings love, always brings good vibes, is an outstanding guy um, and is a kick-ass Soulsborne streamer. I don't know if he's playing Soulsborne today, but it's okay because he's doing just chatting, which y'all know is the best game on twitch hands down thanks for the stream man take care guys thank you dark phoenix and mountain border and not so creative and hangry heather and suits and every single one of y'all for hanging out for being here today for bringing love i really appreciate you all immensely tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna take down seath and uh new londo area so i'm excited for tomorrow but if you need any more zeph in your life a thousand percent can follow on like 
Twitch and Twitter and YouTube, the podcast got some new, some new friends going to be scheduled uh, for some podcasts coming up. So really, really excited about that. But yes, as Starfish G always says, stay beautiful, everyone. Stay amazing, everybody. Let's go blow up Mr. White's chat with all of your favorite emotes, all your favorite Zeph emotes. Killer Draco, my friend, Starfish G, my legendary friends. Thank you both so much. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out today. Tomorrow, we're going to kick some ass. Everybody have a kick-ass Monday. You all are beautiful. You all are amazing. Let's go bring Mr. White big birthday love. Raid hype!